Hello, good evening. Welcome to everybody for a very special Tuesday night sketch claim with 4C Comics uh, for the National Cartoonist Society Foundation. I am joined, as always, by my brother from another mother, Mr. Ken Carson. Everybody say hi to Ken. Hey, everybody. Well, Ken, you say hi to them, too, but I can't hear them saying hi to you, but, you know. And, uh, yeah, so we have a really, really great show for you guys tonight. It's going to be awesome. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. It's going to be so great. And, uh, Ken, uh, anything you want to add before we bring on the master? Uh, just one thing. It's my birthday! It's my birthday! It is Jeff's birthday, so it we have to have happy birthday to Jeff. Oh, um, well, thank you very much, Ken. But without, uh, real quick, just going to let everybody know how it's going to run tonight. It's going to be kind of like uh, Stan Sakai. We are going to take five claims at a time. I will upload a Google Doc. Who you got to go to the Google Doc, fill it out. The first five people to do that, they'll get the claims. Sergio will draw them in thirty seconds, and then uh, we will be done. Uh, and then we'll just get it. Yeah, then we'll be done. That's, that's the whole show. That's that's if our show was going to be three minutes long, that would be the whole show. Uh, <laughs> well, without further ado, yeah, here we go. Let's, let's, bring let's, let's bring on the man. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sergio Argones to this stream. How are you, sir? Pretty good, pretty good. Very nervous because I'm computer almost illiterate. <laughs> so my son-in-law is helping me here. So we don't have we're, any. We're no better. Oh yeah, literally. <laughs> yes, you, know, right. you should have seen our first couple of shows. My audio would drop out and nobody could hear me. <laughs> yeah. So because I'm going to be drawing like this, so it's going to be quite difficult. But uh, we'll. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've, I've heard you could do it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So Sergio told us earlier, he said he was practicing something because he wanted to see how it would look. And it was, it, it's basically a finished drawing of Gru. And he just, he just did it real quick. Just, just real quick. Just wanted to see what it would be like to draw on camera. So, well, yeah, a lot of people says that's very fast, but what it takes the time is the research before you do that. Mm -hmm. And the time when you're doing a comic every month, like we did with Gru every yeah. month, every month, 12 years or something like that that's, you have to you have to deliver in time so you develop a, a, a speed that is good with cartooning if you're drawing like batman or superman th th these artists cannot make a mistake we use the mistakes because they're silly a, a big hand or big foot who cares <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the speed uh, is not relevant whatsoever at all. Oh, yeah well, well, first off, let me thank you for very much for being here, and and I know that you're you've been a member of the Cartoonist Society forever, and and uh, and we thank you for doing this. You know, we love to, to break, give a little bit back, and and having you on here is so great. I think we're gonna do raise a lot of money for the charity tonight, and we thank you so much for being on with us. It's a, it's a great organization. You have helped uh, have helped me a lot. I met a lot of cartoonists and meeting other cartoonists who are your idols. You know, I mean, I, I've been in reference meeting Rube Goldberg, Otto Soglo magic people and uh, and then you meet the new ones and then they like your work and it's it's a revolving thing which is fantastic oh wow so great organization and helps a lot of people too yeah yeah Definitely. so we're hoping so uh ken what are the choices that we have tonight before we put up the uh, all this thing for the google doc and so everybody this these, these are what we're going to do tonight so there's three price tiers there's a 300 dollars single figure which certainly doesn't want to do so i already picked that <laughs> and then there's a five hundred dollar multiple, kind of like what you're saying. He's a he's a cartoonist, so if you ask for just Gru, he can't just draw Gru. He's go, he wants to draw more to it. So oh, basically, for each level will get more. I just draw Gru. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, but for five hundred, he'll draw you know multiple characters, and for eight hundred, it'll be more of a finished two finished piece. Yeah, um, two characters, two characters two gag. Yeah, but, yeah. The eight hundred dollar tier man, you're going to get something just blow your mind phenomenal so just right. want to throw that out there to everybody to make sure and, uh, and and remember what we always there is always a thing on these where you can leave a tip if you want to if you do decide to do that that is just extra money that we will donate the car to the cartoon society do not feel like you're any obligation to do that we just like to mention that you are able to do that um, and then uh, uh, so we're going to sneak in the claims here remember the first five we're just going to take five at a time guys I think we're just going to take the first five that go through, and then and then he's so fast that we're honestly we're hoping to get a, a ton of these done tonight as long as he's willing to join us. So there we go. There's the first one. So uh, Ken is taking claims. So Ken, explain to them one more time how they get their claims. I done. just posted a Google Doc on the comments, so you got to go to the Google Doc, fill it out. The first five people to do that, 
we'll get the claims. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see, Sergio, you did a little drawing earlier. Did you want to work on switching your camera so you can show everybody that awesome picture that you did? Oh, that's uh, it's uh, it was just for size. You just, know, for, just for size, was, yeah. Just, just, to see, like, like you know, that. just, just a little simple something, you know, that yeah. would make uh, anybody that was for proportion, <laughs> you know, because. Uh, but they can see it appear on the other camera. So you tell me what, what's happening. Oh, let's see. Well, apparently um, it's already filled. We already got all five spots filled. So now Ken is going to um, look at see who got them and we'll announce who has the five spots so they know. And then we'll start taking the characters and see what they want. And then we'll, well get you to one. Uh, no, I, I, had, I had the responses not open. So it's open now, guys. Oh, is it? No, oh, is that it? It's oh, it's not open yet. Oh, I'm sorry, my fault. It didn't. It's open. open. So no, I, it was locked. I didn't know it was locked. Oh, okay. Well, sorry guys, don't quit now. Go back. Go yeah. back. Sign up. <laughs> it was locked. It was me. It, it was, was Ken's locked. fault. See, oh, see. Uh, it's, 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 me. it's not it's you. No. It's us. It's us. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, we're no better. Uh, <laughs> so sorry, Sergio. If you want to take that first little sketch that you did. And write happy birthday, Jeff, on it because today's my birthday. I, I'm going to make the first claim if I if, if I can. Oh, so, I do something better. Don't worry about it. Oh well, something better. You, yeah, are you I, 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 I claim that like three. Yeah, birthday, we do a birthday scene. Uh, you know, we we'll start with that. Uh, please. Oh, yeah. While we're can, waiting for uh, Google Doctor, okay. Just a second. We go put this thing here, oh, and yeah. then can I go. The yeah, let's where? do it. Let's see it. Here we go. Oh, yeah, settings. I go to settings, ta -da, and then I go to the other camera here. Uh, yeah, yeah, click on that. That one? Uh -huh. Oh, here, here. Ooh, oh, this is yeah, beautiful. Sergio is, is a very young 80s guy, and look at how perfect he can do that. <laughs> look at this. That's perfect, and now we accommodate the you thing. Know, sometimes and, I have to ask my daughter how to do stuff on my computer, and, and, and look at you. You're flying through this. This is great. Well, no, no, it's very simple. So it's a birthday. I have to make the camera to see you better because, okay, oh, oh my God, look at that hair. <laughs> you don't go to the barber at all? Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's just it's just bedhead, you know, it's, it's just, just spike it up. There you go. Oh, wow. I know also when you're drawing a cartoon, it's always the, the end result that is what counts, you know. <laughs> Well, we got our claims, so while Sergio is doing that, I can read off who got the first five claims. Yeah, let's let them know who got it so they can... Uh, so first one is uh, Charles Simone, and then Steve Andreski, Dustin Whitney, Jay Singh, and Jason Williams. All right, so... so the first five. So what? Uh, tell, in order again, Ken, tell me what the first person is and what they uh, asked for. It's or? Uh, Charles, Charles si Simone. Charles Simone. He, $500 tier and Grew the Wanderer. All right. Grew. Steve Andreski. Steve. $500 tier. And? And he's asking for, hold on, he's asking, Grew slashing a soldier, please. Grew, hold on, let me write that down. Slashing a soldier. All right, I got two. Who's number three? Dustin Whitney. He went for a three hundred three hundred dollar tier artist yeah. choice. Artist choice. Oh, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Artist choice. Always, always get a good one when you let the artist choose whatever he wants to draw. Awesome. All right, number four. And it's a J Singh. J Singh. Eight hundred dollar tier. Oh, nice. Happy birthday, Jeff. Happy birthday, Jeff. Drew, Ruferto, Wolverine, and Dragon. Oh, what? That's an eight hundred. <laughs> that's an eight hundred. Yeah. Three hundred, yes. Say, say it again, Ken. Who are the characters? Gru. Gru. Uh, Ruferto Wolverine. R U F F E R T O. I don't know what that is. And Dragon. Wolverine. We'll have to ask him for some uh, elaboration on that. Wolverine and what? A dragon. Oh, a dragon! Wow, a dragon. And then Jason Williams is the last one. Eight hundred dollar tier. Spider Man and Gru. Spidey and Gru. All right. <laughs> All right, I love it. Oh, 
Look at this, guys. Oh, so I, I listen. I really wasn't going to try to steal the first spot, everybody. I was just going to take the one that was done. But this is just, and, and it's nice that he got to work on something while we were waiting for all that stuff to come in, because otherwise we would have just been sitting here waiting. So the one oh, I was done with days ago. <laughs> Ken's like, that's fine. So I had to get you a new one. Okay. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I, I left out what? I don't know what that is. I didn't see that on there. Check, check all as well. Oh, thank you, Linda. Nonsense. Nonsense. Oh, I, oh, my gosh. And guys, listen up. Also, you please, uh, uh, you know, I've got a ton of questions for um, Sergio, but if you guys have questions. Uh, well, you can, yeah, any questions you have, you want to know about things, you know, I even. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, well I'll, I'll, I'm going to make sure that if people want to put some 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 questions into there, too, please feel free to add some questions. Um, Lee, we're not taking any claims right now. He's doing basically five at a time. We already got our first five claims. Just wait. Ken will put the banner up. As soon as he puts the banner up, he will put the Google Doc into the comments. You just click on that, fill out the Google Doc. The first five people that fill it out get sketches. He goes very, very fast, as you can see. We're going to get as many of these done as he will let us do. So just stand uh Stand waiting and ready, and uh, and we're going to raise a lot of money for uh, for charity. Wow. Yeah, and I did when I when I post the comments, it, it automatically goes to Facebook and YouTube. So, you know how quickly it goes to both. I have no idea. I would definitely say that YouTube is going to be much quicker than uh, Facebook uh, in both aspects of watching and claiming. So, if you have the ability to. Uh, to get on YouTube, that's the way to do it. And please, if you're not following us on, on, on YouTube, please follow us. Absolutely. Okay, we listen, it, it works so good for us with the, the, the algorithm and everything. Follow us, tell a friend, please. Honestly, it's only gonna make everything we can do for you guys better. Um let's see. Okay, CS says let's see. Sorry, the claim for Charles should have been grew the wanderer and all right, so grew. And I see. I got you, Charles. I don't know who Chakal is. I'm sure that uh, Sergio is. Jeff, you're about to get smacked with a, a cake by the Gru. Listen, I, I, I can't think of anybody else better to smack me with the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. He's even colored the same color shirt I got. I'm telling you, man. This guy just brings it. Now he's going to sign it. Oh. Wow. Oha is the town I live. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sergio. Oh, wow. Uh, we'll get to your questions, guys. We'll start rolling in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make sure. I got you. I got you guys. And uh, then if, if, if we switch to the other one, then I'll be. How I do that? I forgot. To the other camera. Oh, down? The other camera. Okay. I don't understand. No, no, no. We're going to be practicing a lot of back and forth. Sergio yeah. likes to, yeah. to, to, to talk to you guys and have you see. Yeah. So we'll be switching back and forth. But. And then we go here. Three. And then I go here. Yes. You move. And then I go like that. Exactly. And then I, yeah. See? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> Thank great. you so much. Oh, I, I, I'm honored. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, so great. <laughs> And this would be for Jeff, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, let's see. So the 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 first one we have on your list, whenever you have time, is a five hundred dollar tier. It's going to be Gru and uh, Chakal. I'm guessing you know who Chakal is. Yes, uh, I marry her. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> really, really. That's who you based her after. Oh, that's so awesome. Instead of my wife, she's a fantastic dancer. She was uh, uh, opening many shows in Broadway. She's just a terrific lady. Oh, let me get to some of these questions too before I dig oh. in here. So let's see. So we had a couple questions. We had one. Uh, let's see. I, I'm not going to do these in order, guys, because I, I know which ones are going to take longer. So I want to get some of these other ones out. So someone wanted to know if you have uh, any plans to do any more crossovers after the Tarzan one that you did. Uh, no. No, Tarzan, uh, the crossovers were sort of an exception, but just because we did that, the issue was four years later. 
you know, I mean, it, it is complicated. Uh, a fine artist has to take his time to draw. See, when a, when a good artist draws a hand, it better look like a hand mm -hmm. or a body proportion. When I drew a, a hand, I just go <laughs> four sausages and that's it. It doesn't matter what one is fatter. So it's a, it's a no, no, no more crossover. It was quite difficult, but it came out great. Uh -huh. Okay, so the first one, they one grew. Check yep. out. You're on your call. That's yeah, the five hundred dollar tier. However you want to do it, go go right ahead. Um, let's see. I have, another, I have another very serious question. Um, someone wants to know what your technique is for grooming your mustache. Saliga. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Lucas. Saliva. It's all about the saliva. We'll we'll all, we'll all try it. We'll all. I got yeah, it. And, and if you train it, if you train it, eventually. Mm -hmm. they, they go like that and that's it ah. <laughs> okay so what we do now is we switch cameras yep and i put this back to the line and i'm learning this very fast i go yeah, to that's, why we, that's why we're doing back and forth everybody it's because we want to get used to doing it. I get it camera here with a little arrow and then i go to mexico and there it is but you guys can see the window, the, this window. what window this, this. perfect Oh, you see. very good. There you go. I'm out of focus. Well, as soon as you start drawing, it should focus. It should if. Uh... Yeah, so it's just the white on white. There, it is. there it is. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Scott Shaw know. says he really wants you to know how much he loves the Spy vs. Spy cartoon, which is an interesting <laughs> story because the um, the gentleman who who was drawing Spy vs. Spy, he was the person who you wanted <laughs> to like speak for you when you first went to Mad, right? He was, he knew, you knew he was Spanish speaking and you were like, he can talk to them because my English isn't probably the best. And it turns out your English was probably better than his is what I hear. <laughs> no, no, what happened is that we we're talking and says, hey, can you introduce me to these people? Because you speak English. He says, no, I don't speak English either. <laughs> so that was it. And he was Antonio Proyas. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, Scott Shaw was making a joke because many people who are not very familiar with Mad uh they they realized that he's a latino and i was a latino name so they confused me with antonio so many times they go to me and says hey sergio we love uh spy vs spy <laughs> and i have to explain well sorry my friends i don't draw spy vs spy that's antonio Prohias. yeah so it became a joke with, with with even in the comics that we do and scott show was absolutely making a a very funny joke yeah. <laughs> I know it's funny. It's it's. I heard that they even saw they because he kind of introduced you as his brother. They they gave you like his last name every once in a while. They thought your last name was his last well, name. The whole time the, in the beginning, when I was there the first day, they were calling, they were calling me Mr. Proyas too. <laughs> and I keep telling them Aragonés. That's how we pronounce it in Spanish. But Aragonés doesn't sound like anything logical. So they must think that I was saying thank you or something like that. You know? <laughs> so they did probably me Proyas for a long time. Oh my gosh. But it was a it was a very serendipitous occasion because from that moment on I I start being a part of a, of the, of a great family of cartoonists and great artists. Oh yeah. Let's see I'm gonna try and find some more questions here. Well somebody had a question. They wanted to know if you had any good Neil Adams stories that you could share? Well, of course, always. He was one of the the, the, the the most influential cartoonists, not only for his style of drawing, but because he wanted also that the cartoonists ob ob obtain their rights, you know, the rights that they just justly belong to them, you know? And uh, so he did a lot of very good. And uh, he was also one of the guys who told everybody you should you should ask money for your art. Don't give it away. You diminish what you're doing. Everything that is free is not worth it, except nature, of course. You know, walking in the park and the sunsets and watching birds. But everything that is physical, I mean, you don't go to the to the to the to the garage. And says, hey, I love how you fix car. Can you fix mine for free? I love your work. 
<laughs> or at a grocery store. You don't do it. As a dentist, oh, you're the best. I love you. My family love you very much. God bless you. Uh, can I? Can you do me a, 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 a dental work for free? So why they don't respect us the same way they respect everybody else, everything else, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, even if we draw fast, it has taken me 60 years to arrive there, you know? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, there's a very old anecdote about a, about a king in uh, in China that uh, the, the king went to an artist and says, I want you to draw me a frog. And the artist said, sure, your majesty, come in a year and I'll have it ready for you. So the, the, the king went away, waited a year and came back and uh, says, I want my frog and said, sure. So the, the artist took the pen and Draw a frog. He says, wait a minute. You made me wait a year and in five minutes you draw a frog. He says, it took me a year to learn how to do it. Yeah, so it's, uh, basically, that's that's the premise. Well, basically, this is how it's going to... Oh, oh of course. This is how it's going to look. look you know, Gru and Chacal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and... Me pasa esto. And then we use the little tricks to, to to do the moons and things like that. <laughs> oh wait, you but can't just draw. You can't just draw a perfect circle. Come on. Yes, you can, but I don't want to show off. Oh, okay. <laughs> we appreciate that. Yeah, being <laughs> it's very nice. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Let's see. Someone, uh, uh, Joe Cumberland. He, he's from Alfred's uh, Mad World of Paperbacks. He said, "Everybody there loves you." He just oh, thank you, thank you. I guess when when you put uh, love of what you're doing, people re realize that. Oh yeah. Let, mm -hmm. Before I before I do that one, put on put Wendy's up there real quick, Kent. So Wendy Wendy Gaines, uh, uh, ah. says, she says that you were her first crush at age four. Ah uh, yeah yeah. What a family <laughs> we had over there. Oh my god. Hello my dear. <laughs> How time flies, huh? Oh wow. And his father was such a dear friend. Oh my God, he's like the the uncle that you love so much, but you fight a lot. Let's see. Uh, Claude uh, uh, Claudio says, uh, "Mr. Sergio, when will you make fun of us Portuguese people? I read magazines since I was thirteen. I'm forty four years old now, and you made fun of everybody: Italians, Mexican, British, etc. But you never make fun of us. He wants you to make." Oh, Obrigado. No, it's, it's very difficult to do it uh, um, because I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. oh, my gosh. I, I could make fun of the Fados. They, they have the greatest music in the world. They call Fados. Una casa portuguesa con certeza. Com certeza uma casa portuguesa, quatro caras paia, um amor saudí, uma promessa de um baixo dos braços que a mim me espera. Das portugueses fados. Take your wages, everybody. There you go, exactly. Let's see, another a clown nookie asks, uh, he says, hi, Sergio. Is there, anything, is there anything hidden on your Mad Gulliver Travels cover? the number 17 from February last year yeah. that we should know about hidden messages from one of your little characters maybe, or why you're being uh, tied down. Well, um, we figured it out. The editors also that um, one of the things was uh, Gulliver being tied up and, uh, and escaping because by then it was the end of mad. I figured out, well, through the years, you get tied up with something, and suddenly you get free. Um, not free like a, sl a slave or anything. It's just free of of the routine and and the deadlines. Had the same deadlines for sixty years, sixty some years. Uh, the majority of people retire long before that. But as a cartoonist, you cannot retire. You know. Let's see. 
I know I missed some questions in here. I got to They were coming out hot and fast. Let me see. Oh, someone, uh, Paul wanted to know who were some of your favorite artists over the last 20 years? Some of the newer artists, I guess. Yeah, because uh, the, the, the cartoonists that influence you usually are the old ones that you remember as a kid. So before, before I can name a lot of the guys that they were, I admire and they were influences. But of the new ones, it's a completely different uh, uh, position. Not that much that you can take the ways that you change, that you draw in because you've been already having a style that had worked for so many years that it doesn't get changed. But uh, what I admire is how can they draw so well with computers? You know, they take uh, one of those antics and things and without changing pens or anything, they just touch a bottle and they have a pencil and then they took a, a brush and they take infinite colors and they domain something that perspective. It took me two years in architecture to learn perspective. And and I will go to every class and you, you learn. Now you don't even have to learn why. You just put your perspective and there goes a building on the, on, on the computer and it gets done. Sure, it's great to know why, but it's, it's, it's great when it's done to, done for you. And that applies to the drawings. The only thing I don't like very much with the young people is that they abuse the computer too much. Instead of using it as a, as a, as a, as a, as a help, they use it as for drawing with it, you know? And, uh, well, we can talk about computers for hours. But I guess it's my age talking. <laughs> well, let's see for you drawing. This this show is, is built on on physical art with a pen and, and pencil. So no one here is going to argue with you that we, we prefer the uh, the physical art to the the uh, computer art. But that said, my well, daughter draws digitally, so I have to I have to respect the fact that it you know that as long as you're not using cheats and you're just and you're you're still creating and it's still a great way to draw. Yeah, but and let me put it this way: if I had to start all over again, one of the first things I will do will be how to use the computer. Mm -hmm. It will save you a lot of time, a lot mm -hmm. of time. They don't make the tools that they used to. They don't make the pens that they used to. Right. And the pens that I, 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 I use sometimes, they used to cost 60 bucks. Now they cost $600 because they are collector's items. You know, so people collect them. But the paper is not the same. Even the big companies, they are not making the good the Strathmore anymore. Right. You can right. tell the difference. And, uh, and because usually architects, engineers used to buy all the stuff, they make pens and things for them, but now they use computers, so they don't make them anymore. No way you can find a, a good um, many things that you used to do. Yeah, I, I know a lot of artists that when they found a, a pen they like, sometimes they buy just they just buy tons of them because they never know how long they're going to be around and they want to make sure they're that's right. One of my dearest friends that that has become one of the best artists, storytellers of the new generation, Stan Sakai, which is one of the very few uh, creators that writes, draws pencils, inks, letters, everything. Mm -hmm. Usagi Yojimbo. And it happened to him. He found once a pen that he liked and um, he bought <laughs> tons of them, <laughs> everything that they had, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably what I was thinking about. Because now that I'm thinking about it, he was probably the one that told me that uh, last month when he was on our show. Mm -hmm. Yes, he told us. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. So uh, V wants to, he said uh, he recently purchased a reprint of your book, uh, Ants in Your Pants, Memoirs of a Dirty <laughs> Old Woman. And he said oh he would love to have it signed by you sometime. And he said, what a great book. Well, with oh, that was the earlier work. <laughs> when I didn't write it, I, I just draw it. Uh, and I had just arrived to the States. It was kind of beginning. And I will do whatever job that came to my hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a company called Canrom, which provide very good work for me. And... Uh, I did a set of books called Sam, the ceiling needs painting, 
which <laughs> sold like crazy. And uh, they were just feet making love. <laughs> and, I, and, and I did that one uh, at that time. And it's just a reprint of, of that of that book that people like and they ask for it. So <laughs> it's been done again. So there you go. Let's see. So so Lee's, I guess I missed Lee's question earlier. He said, um, uh, is that Lat, a, a famous cartoonist in Malaysia in Gru with a, he, he wanted to know? And do you yes. talk with him? Yes, I did a whole issue with him as the character about a, 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 an island that was perfect and a lot was there and uh, as, a, as the main character. Uh, that was a very good anecdote. And uh, what happened is I was in Malaysia. He's a, a, a Malay cartoonist. And I was at the airport waiting for the plane to go. And I, book, I went to the bookstore. And suddenly there's a set of books from a cartoon is called Lat. What a technique of drawing, so loose, so perfect. And I, I got fascinated by, by the work and says, oh my God, this is sensational. And the best thing is that he was talking about where he grew up on the rubber uh, uh, plantations, on a still uh, life that it was so alien to me. But the books were just amazing. And so I bought them all, <laughs> love it. And a few years later, I was in my studio right here in Ojai, and I got a, a telephone call from the State Department from the U.S. saying that uh, there was a Malaysian cartoonist that wanted to visit me, that he loved my work, and he wanted to see if it was possible to, to visit my studio. I says, what's his name? Slat. Oh, my God. Imagine somebody that you admire so much wanted to meet you. So he comes, visits, and the first thing I tell him, can you sign all these books for me? The guy almost fell out. <laughs> he didn't know that I even know about him, you know. He says, oh, my God. So we became very good friends. Oh, my God. He's such a fantastic artist. One of his things in, over there. Uh, totally. <laughs> uh, uh, N. Steele wanted to know who some of your favorite side characters are in Gru. Well, it's like kids. I mean, who? Who, who you love best? What what of your sons you love the most? Well, you 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 love them a lot, all of them. Some are easier to draw, some are more complicated. For instance, Mark Evanier, who helps me with the stories and he helps me with the English and helps me with the, uh, editing the magazine because sometimes he goes and says, "Hey, Sergio, if this." Four pages will look better if it's after instead of before. So he loves that the, the minstrel, which we needed to introduce certain stories. And he's a great poet. So that character represents the, the, the type of artistry that Mark Evanier has. You know, he comes with those fantastic poems. No, no, he's, he's an amazing man. And the, the minstrel, I love to draw him because. I put a little different thing in the top of his uh, of his mandolin, with the poems and all the oral humor. That's Mark. I mean, he's uh, fantastic. His great sense of humor and yeah. So, so Jason wants to ask, and I'm sure you've been asked this about a million times, but we'll, we'll address some of these questions. Uh, he wanted to know if, if Gru was meant to be sort of a Conan parody. No, it's a, it's a, it's a comic book in the same gender. gender. Mm -hmm. It's a barbarian, a funny barbarian, had nothing to do with Conan at all, that it was, that I got all the inspiration from Conan, of course, but he had nothing to do or all with the Conan stories, or all whatsoever. Right. But uh, yes, when I, I read uh, the Conan, I said, oh my God, what a fantastic uh, uh, medium. You know, I mean, being able to draw anything that you want and it fits. And one of the things that I love about, about Gru is that I can draw houses, dragons, witches, and all of them fit. Mm -hmm. Very nicely. 
and I don't have to draw houses or airplanes or anything. That's the technical part that is kind of complicated, but I mean, I have traveled a lot, so that, that's a good experience also when I, uh, I draw uh, an African village. N not only I used to look at my national geographics, but I've been there, you know, so you, you acquire a feeling from many things, like the sea. I love the sea. Uh, I build model ships so I can know exactly how they are drawn. So that when I draw a ship, man, you can swear that many of the things on it are, are how they should be. And uh, the tools that I use, they are the tools that they are used by by the people who make jewelry, that they make any craft. I study so I can convey it on my work. So if you, if, it's a, a phrase that allows you to follow a story without losing the continuity of it, a stream of consciousness, something like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's very important. So when you're reading a story, there's something badly drawn that distracts you from what you're trying to, to tell. So, somebody asked what pens are you using? Yeah, all, all the pens. Uh, what, what are you using? No, what pen are you using currently? What pen are you using on yours right now? What kind of pen is it? Is it this is a, a very comfortable pen called Uniball because it's black, really black, mm -hmm. and perfectly and it lasts. So, this is it. Because if I use my fountain pens that I use on the comic book, uh, I, I don't draw this this uh, this speed where I'm doing the the comic. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. I know I'm taking too long, but uh, no, 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 it's fine. Because he will enjoy better if the drawing is nicer. <laughs> oh, oh you, you, listen, how you know how it always works? The person who you're doing the drawing for is always like, no, 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 take as long as you want, and everybody <laughs> else, and everybody else behind him is like, that's good enough. Move along, move along. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could always do also if you're interested, Sergio. Is you could do the pencils, and we can do the inks after the show, if you wanted to. If you wanted, to, if you wanted to get more sketches in, it's whatever yeah. you're comfortable with. We can just do it live, or if you want to, we, do we, we'll see. This was a, a good example for people. Yes. I, I guess I had a fascination. I used to go to DC Comics in the on the '60s just to watch the cartoonist draw. I sat at the office of Joe Kubert. And I asked him if you will bother him. He said, I was going to be quiet. Just seeing the magic appear on the paper. Mm -hmm. Oh, to me, it's one of the greatest fascinations. And I was very fortunate to see many artists that I could just see there and watch them, you know. And he was one of the, the good ones. Stephen wow. Dusty Jr. says, uh, watching the process is like a religious experience. <laughs> well, I understand that because it happens to me all the time, you know. So it's watching other artists draw and says, How can he do that? And Mark says, Well, the same way that they say, How can I do that? You know, it's, it's reciprocal. It's a reciprocal admiration of the time that he had an artist have taken to learn the trade. Absolutely. Do you still uh, go to cons? Uh I I went a lot, but not in the last two years because of the COVID. Yes. At my age, I'm I'm 84, you know, so my family takes very good care of me, and I don't want to get it, you know. And I just yeah. whatever they tell me, I do. My daughter and my son-in-law, they they go overboard to help about everything, and I don't I cannot go to a meeting of where there's more than than a few people. I don't. Of protection, not only me and my wife too. Right. Absolutely. Uh, check out. Yes. Yeah. I, well, you can see it. Oh yeah, we can see it perfectly. That yeah. Wow. Good. Um, <laughs> this is a very serious question, uh, Mr. Argonas. Does tequila enhance your quick draw skills? Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> No, that's one thing that I have never done drugs ever, not even a smoke marijuana or anything, because of the fear of losing exactly what I have. 
There was as well, William Hans, what you feel and says, I don't need it. I enjoy I it. I getting it. <laughs> whatever I'm doing, I enjoy it. And uh, so basically, no, it doesn't. Let's see. And then when you're done with this one, and I, I'm not rushing you at all. I, yes, I'm gonna, you are. <laughs> I, know, I know I am. Well, I'm going to jump to uh, one. We're gonna, we have a $300 sketch that's in here. It's an artist's choice. So I want to sure, go sure. ahead and get that one next so we can, because I figure that one might be a little bit quicker than some sure. of the other ones. So we'll do that one next. So that's that's literally, you can draw, it's a $300 level. You can single figure, draw whatever you want. So this should be fun to see. Well, this guy is, uh, I enjoy drawing, so that's the problem. You know? I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, oh, I'm going to get a good drawing. No, it's me who's enjoying this, you know. Is this a, a big person? How much time do you spend a day drawing, do you think? Uh, I, believe it or not, I spend more time thinking the stories than drawing it. For instance, for Mad, it takes long time thinking the gags. Mm -hmm. You know, so that, that in reality is what it takes the, the longest. The drawing many hours until my wife gets desperate. Come to bed now, it's four o'clock in the morning. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I divide my time. I, well, this is it. Perfect. Let's see, what is it? Uh, uh, Tom Richmond, who you might know. <laughs> he asked, uh, do you have any uh, idea how many uh, uh, marginal cartoons that you did uh, total for uh, Mad over your 50 plus years with the magazine? Okay, count the issues of Mad that from 1962 to now and multiply that by 10 to 12 cartoons an issue and then you can figure it out more or less. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Six, I got to do math here. Hold it. 60 times 12 equals. No, 12, 12 times is one year. First oh, multiply yeah. eight or t 10 times 60 years. I, 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 that's, we're just going to say a lot. Okay. Who's uh, this cartoon for? So uh, the the one you just did? Yeah, the one you just did is for Charles. Charles. Okay. Excellent. And it, this okay, so we have to draw, so I don't think I have to go back to. Oh yeah, yeah, you just keep yeah, you can keep the camera where it is and just go on to the next one. Absolutely. Okay. What is this one for? This one is a, it's whatever, a three, one. Three dollar, three dollar figure, whatever you want. Uh well, I enjoy drawing Gru. So okay. let me uh, hey, listen. I don't think he'll complain. A Gru, or uh, I can do an Alfred Newman if he likes that better, but. So he's a stock with a group, and if he doesn't want this, then we'll get it somebody else. Well, Dustin, this is for you. So if you're still out there, you chime in. I think he'll be happy with Gru, though. That's why he gave you the choice. I okay. love to. And and uh, Steve, I know you were next on the list, and I promise you, it's going to get done. I just figure he did a he did one that took a little bit of, a long time. I figure this one will be a little bit quicker, and then we can try and knock some more out. Our, our object is to try to get you guys as many of these sketches as we can. So we want to, uh, but we also want him to do them as good as he wants to do them. And I know everybody who gets one wants it to be really nice. So, yeah, Dustin says, sounds good to me, whatever you want to draw. So he's happy with the group. So that's great. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Dick uh, Bartello says, it's great seeing you. He said, well, at least your hands. I hope <laughs> you <laughs> He's if you stay a second, you you can see my face. Or... Yes, yeah. After I, when, once we get a couple more of these sketches done, we'll switch oh, the camera back. The Bartolo, what the best writers? I think the maddest writer from from Mad, yeah. and he's been there longer than I have. Man, when I I came and I met him the first time, he he was in a theater. He was showing a movie about the West that he had done, and says he's not only a fantastic writer, he's a movie maker. I was very impressed. And we became very good friends through the years. We used to do fake pantomimes when we were in the mad trips. It scared the heck out of a lot of people. Let's see. Okay, fake. so Tom, Tom did the math for us. He said that uh, uh, you appeared in 499 issues 
uh, that times 12 per issue. So 5,988. So eh, that's, that's okay, I guess. That's okay. That's not too many. <laughs> and listen, Jason, this is the second time someone has called this gentleman a master, and I would have to agree. Yes. Uh, Chetfield is behind the cam. Yeah. Leek de Bartolo, what a writer. Yeah, Jason Chetfield's on there too. He was a guest of ours. <laughs> Very good, my friend, a good friend too. Wow. We had Jason on our, I think, our second show. Uh, yeah, I think, I think it was the second show. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for my invitation to the. Uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the Cartoonist Society Foundation dinner. I, I thought we were supposed to have one of those. The, yeah. um, I can't remember. The, what's the name of the award ceremony? I can't remember the name of it. Oh. Well, it's supposed to be in Kansas City is all I know. And Bill was nominated this year for the first yeah, time. Bill not, yeah, Bill, well, Bill Morrison is who, who one of our guys that we represent. And he's he also speaks very highly of you. And we thank him for getting into contact with you. And uh, Oh, no, not only he's a, a very good friend. He was my editor of a comic that I did called Sergio Aragones Fonis. Mm -hmm. I did 12 issues, was published by Bongo. And uh, many of the stories there the, the, in every issue were, were biographical. And... Uh, he was my editor. Oh, what a pleasure working with him. Well, he's yeah. a dear, dear friend, too. And, and, and the next Cartoon Society Foundation charity uh, sketch up will be with Mr. Bill Morrison. Bill Morrison. So there you go, guys. So next month we'll have Bill on here doing some sketches. Uh, yep, Sergio froze, or is it me? Maybe he just stopped drawing. Maybe he's just really, really still. <laughs> No, he may have frozen just a little bit. That's all right, guys. Don't worry. Yep, there he's back. All right. Sorry, your your computer froze there for a half a second there. It's always internet's always fun. Bill said I didn't even know because I'm just watching the drawing. So and Bill said we're going to do more. We're gonna do more uh, uh, of Sergio stuff. That's what that, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing we're gonna do some more Sergio funnies. That's what Bill Morrison's telling me right now, I think, right? Yes, we are. Or is he just, or is Bill saying he's going to do more sketches than Sergio? And I'm going to tell Bill that he's going to have to have, be on here for about four or five hours if he's going to do that. I think. Uh, ask the gentleman if he wants this signed to him or just sign it. Oh, sure. Dustin, yeah, let us know, buddy. Do you want Sergio to personalize it or just sign it? He's definitely out there watching. Yeah, Dustin's a. Uh... Oh, he's a regular. Same source. Yep. Does huh? that mean no more Sergio funnies? Yeah, no? We can't more read your. your yeah, does that mean no more Sergio funnies or no more Wait, Sergio? Funnies? I don't. You know. Come, come, on, come on, Morrison. Morrison's still in France. That's the problem. Yeah. He's in Paris. He was. He's. He's back now, but he thinks he's still. He's still over there in France. He can't speak the language anymore. <laughs> I sent him an email in French and he didn't answer back, so that means he thought it was a spam. <laughs> French spam. <laughs> Let's see. Now, who's the doofus, Jeff or me? Uh, listen, you, you, you got to put the emphasis. You got to put the emphasis. I missed Bill. Yeah. I, s I spent a week and a half without my Morrison. It was tough. <laughs> Let's see. So, all right. So Dustin hasn't gotten back with us. So I guess we'll just we'll just have it signed. So that's just fine. If he wants it personalized, we'll let you know at a later time. But I, I, he, I he's he's stepped out. It looks like. But <laughs> let's see. Oh, we got beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now, yeah, that one is for Dustin. If you want to write that on the back, feel free. And then we'll go to the next one. Dustin. Dustin. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, Steve is next. He wants, uh, it's a $500 to two character. He would like Gru slashing a soldier. Okay. And this is how much? Uh, $500. This is the, the two character tier, the, the, the middle, the okay. multiple. Characters. No problemo. And then that, the next one's going to be a nice uh, $500 one. So that'll be a 800. This is go crazy. This one's yeah. only. This one's only five. The next one will be a big eight hundred dollar one. So. Ouch! This is just for position, of course. Yeah. 
Let's see if I missed that. The, the, the chat goes fast and furious. I got to make sure I uh, don't miss anything. Just want to. Oh, listen, Tom, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to do this. Like I said, everybody, just remember that every sketch that Sergio is doing tonight is going to go to the Cartoonist Society, Find it, Society, Society Foundation. And it's a really great cause. And uh, we were just happy that um, we could do something to give back. And this was the perfect thing. Uh, you know, Bill Morrison uh, suggested us to the Cartoonist Society Foundation, and we were just more than happy to do it. And as you can see, it gives people a great chance to talk to and get art from incredible artists. And it gives uh, and they give back their time. And, and we have no, you know, they're, they're doing way more work than we are, honestly. And we're, we're very happy that we are able to help. So uh, no, no problem at all, Tom. Thank you so much for letting us do this. And we hope to have you back on the show again sometime. We just got to roll through some some more of your wonderful cartoonists, and then we got to try it again. We got to get and we got to do doubles. We're going to do multiple people. And try to get more than one person on, so that'll be fun. Let's see. Let's see if I can find some more questions. You guys are allowing us to do it. That's the important thing. Um, Absolutely. You know, you know, we just love the opportunity to do this give back and uh, get some great art in people's hands. Let's see. I've got a question from Paul it said, do you have any stories about uh, Don Martin and uh, Angelo Torres? Yeah, I do. Uh, with Angelo, every time I went to New York, we, we were and uh, love for garlic, oh my God. And he was such a fantastic artist. And I discovered more about him after knowing him because I knew him by, by the work he did in, in MAD. But then knowing him better, I realized all the history of all the comics that he did and what a fantastic um, talent that uh, Angelo, Angelo, well, Angelo, because that's what I talked to him. You know? <laughs> Angelo Torres. Oh, what a variety! What a group of artists they they grew up, you know, drawing the same the same style, which is for me impossible to fathom. I can I can ever draw anything like that. You know? I guess basically this is the, this is going to be the drawing before I uh, I ink it. You know? Yeah, that's uh, perfect. Just that, watching it come together and like. 60 seconds is amazing. <laughs> and for instance, I do sometimes, I like the, the, the swords to be like perfect, you know. So sometimes I, I do a little cheating here. Oh, I don't think that's cheating. Tools of the yeah. trade. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a necessity, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bill Morrison said we should have an all mad night one night. Yeah. Do uh, you have any ideas how many artists we'd have on here? It would, it would look like the Brady Bunch. There'd be so many people drawing <laughs> on the screen. Um, and well, let's see. A whole, gen a whole new generation of mad artists. Mm -hmm. I mean, incredible talent. Let's see. So, uh, so somebody asked how many cartoonists are in the Cartoonist Society. A, a lot. There's a lot. I think Tom could answer that better than anybody. Um, how many are in there? And then someone else also wanted to ask, have you ever been to the YouTube channel called GruTube? Apparently there's a YouTube channel called GruTube. I didn't know this. No, I know that there's a uh, friends of Sergio, some, uh, uh, cause I don't have, I don't have Facebook at all. Mm -hmm. was, uh, I find it very distracting. There's so, so many amazing things that I says, oh no, no, no. If I get there, that's it. That's the end of me working. <laughs> and also, th th that's always interrupted by a lot of type of gossip that I don't particularly care. I feel like a peeping Tom every time I, they, <laughs> I, put, I put Facebook. Oh, my God. Uh, well, apparently there's, yeah, apparently there's a YouTube channel called GruTube. It has just under 700 subscribers, and they show a lot of videos of games by Gru and your art from Mad and your art from from movie and your art from Spy vs. Spy and all kinds of stuff. Wow. <laughs> Not spy. your art. Poyser's <laughs> art. His, his art, but but it's, it shows a lot of stuff. That's interesting. I didn't, didn't know that. There you go. Something You learn something new every day. And let's see, Tom you did know. say, yeah, there's 450 to 500 cartoonists in the Cartoonist Society, so that's that's quite a lot. So we got a lot of shows to go. 
Yeah, exactly. We have to we have to start at least doubling up, or we're never going to be we're not going to be alive by the time we run through this list. <laughs> cool. any more, if you have any more questions, please. You have me here. So. Oh yeah. yeah. There's so many. It, it, this, the uh, chat's moving so fast. Yeah, I'm trying. I keep having to scroll back. <laughs> um, so I had a question. So you were you were you were born in Spain and then you moved to um, to France before coming to Mexico. Correct. That's correct. It was during the Second World War, and because my family had fought against Franco, who was a fascist dictator, mm -hmm. helping Hitler. We had to escape, and uh, France opened its doors to us, and uh, we were there uh, until 1942. And what happened is that when the Germans start making so much pressure on France against the Jews, against the Spanish that fought Franco, gay people, gypsies, they start getting eliminated. We had to get the heck out of there, you know. Mm -hmm. And we took a ship and went to Mexico. And Mexico says, everybody who fights fascists, fascists are welcome. And there we were. Yeah. And, and that was uh, in the, you were about six years old then, correct? I was in 1942. I was born in, in 37. So five, five or six, yeah, wow. And then you were always, you were always drawing as a kid, right? You're, you're, they, they left you in a room with crayons, and you just draw, 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 right? Yep. <laughs> That's it. It's true. And also, I had the advantage. My uncle worked on a factory, a textile factory, and uh, he will bring me all the the big books of accounting. That has all the all the figures and everything, but that back page was empty, and they were very big books. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had great time drawing on those things. <laughs> oh wow! So yeah, drawing was my fascination. Let's see. I think we already answered this question, but you're you're not planning on traveling to uh, someone. Uh, he wanted to know if you were planning on traveling to Asia anytime soon, or pretty much just kind of where you are. And I think you what? said you're not going to be doing a lot of shows or anything no for a while i i i i've been so fortunate of traveling that there's i don't think there's any place that i would like to visit anymore because i've seen them all you know and uh <laughs> with a mad trips alone i don't know how many how many trips we, we went to europe alone we went to an african safari uh, oh my god we did so many things in traveling. And then I have a friend, Dick Young, which is a documentary maker. And he's a dear, dear friend. I mean, one of my best friends. And uh, he, when he was doing, he's retired now, of course, but when he was doing documentaries, he was a great awards winning documentaries. He will go and say, hey, Sergio, you want to go to Antarctica? But, but of course, <laughs> how many chances you have a chance to go to film a documentary in Antarctica? So I went with him to Antarctica, and uh, we went to South Georgia, which is a, a great island where Shackleton arrived, a great explorer. And um, and then with him also, I went to the Himalayas. I, I went to Bhutan to shoot a documentary there. And, also, and with my wife, I, we travel a lot. So it's uh, I've been very fortunate on that aspect. But traveling now at 85, it is uncomfortable, you know. Mm -hmm. And I also want to keep the, the memories of the places as they were. Because believe it or not, when I look at a computer and I see that how the, all those countries have changed, I says, man, that's not a place I remember. When I went to Bhutan, they didn't even have money. And they, they didn't have roads, except a couple of them. But now they have airports, tra traffic, <laughs> money, stores. Oh, my God. Starbucks, probably. You never know. <laughs> oh, now they don't have a second. Or oh, McDonald's. <laughs> oh, 
Ay, ay, ay. Let's see. Jason Harris uh, asked, he wanted to know what part of Spain where you were born because his grandfather had the same experience and he left uh, 1915 is when he left. So, wow. Oh, yeah, earlier. Well, uh, I was born in Castellón de la Plana, which is a Valencian province. So I'm Valencian, born in Castellón in a small town called San Mateo, which is San Mateo. And I was born on the same house and in the same bedroom than my father. <laughs> That's how tradition goes. Oh, yeah. There you go. Let's see. Oh, uh, Steve uh, asked if um, was the, the the sinking ships for Gru was that was that a planned thing or as a repeating gag or was that just something that, that kind of just developed organically? That's exactly what happened. I mean, it was so much fun having Gru at the destroyer destroying ships, so we went from there. You know? And uh, and also, I, I I love more than anything drawing ships. You know. And as I said, I, I build models, you know, so I, I see how, what, how they are, how they function. Uh, Bill, Larson, Bill, Bill asked, my three favorite wordless cartoon storytellers are Sergio Argonas, Guillermo Mordillo. Oh, fantastic. And Sergio, do you know these guys and do they influence you at all? Well, Mordillo, I met him uh, at, 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 in Spain at the comic conventions in Barcelona. And we become instant friends because I love his work and he knew mine. And uh, he was not an influence of me because he started uh, publishing when I was already at MAD. So he was not a... a but he's the best comp artist. He does color. Every time I visit, I went to his studio and, and watched him drawing. And, uh, oh, no, no, quite, quite a talent. And he had a style that is unique and influenced a lot of people. No, my influences were more the old timers, like uh, uh, Otto Soglo, who did The Little King, you know, and uh, the, the early comic strips. But Mordillo, what a fantastic talent, what a great guy, what a great guy. We had great times. I visited him in France. I visited him in Spain. Oh, yeah. And then he said, and then also uh, Quinto, is that another? Uh, Kino, Kino. Kino. Mm -hmm. Kino, a good friend, also started about the same time that I did. Um, and he is such a, was, so he just passed away recently. Mm -hmm. And um, he 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 created a character, what was a necessity in the times when Argentina needed their cartoonists to do more comic strips, so they didn't have to buy all the American comic strips. So he created a character called Mafalda, which is a a very intelligent little girl, totally politically oriented, social commentaries, fantastic character. But his cartoons, cartoons, the, the same things that I, I draw, mm -hmm. his compositions and his delivery, his was one of the top, top cartoonists that I have ever met. And it was really an honor to have been his friend. Oh my God, Kino, how good he was. And he did influence a lot of cartoonists, that's by, by sure. Yeah. By sure, Kino. And if you guys are interested in good humor, try to look for for his work. He spelled his name is Q-U-I-N-O, Kino. I'll have to ask Bill if he has any books he can uh, lend me. There you go, Kino, got it. No, uh, don't, don't lend books. They're very hard to be returned. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, let's see. That's that doesn't help the author. Let them buy their own books. Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead. Fine one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Vimo wanted to know if you ever visited Cuba. Yes, but 1957. Long time ago, I was on a rowing team, and we went to a dual meeting in Cuba. They beat the crap out of us. But uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. 
<laughs> it was awful. But My yeah, book. that was 1957, just before the revolution. Oh, wow. In a place called Varadero. What a beautiful place. Let's see. My daughter does rowing. Ah. Yeah, she loves it. She just started doing it this year. Yeah, it's a, the, the, the most complete physical sport that you can do, better than anything, because it moves all the muscles mm -hmm. from feet to wrists to hands to lungs, everything when you do, boom, it's just mm -hmm. the magnificent exercise. Rowing is recommended to anybody who wants to be healthy. This is for whom? Do I sign it for him or what? Uh, this one is for Steve, but I don't know if he wants it personalized. But if you want to write his name on the back, we can ask him. Steve, if you're yeah. still out there and you want it personalized, just let he, us just, he just commented, so he's out there. Oh, he said thank you. Oh, no, thank you, buddy. We uh, we appreciate it, and so does the Cartoon Society Foundation. Thank you so okay. much. Let's see. If he, I don't know if he wants it personalized, though. I'm still waiting to hear back. Let's see. It's okay. Let's see what else we got. Um, so uh, let, uh, let's see. So I'm still going to go through these comments a little bit. Let's see. I leave that pencil because, like this, they will remember the process. Yeah. Yes. Oh wait, listen. We, I, I can't speak for everybody, but I always love it when you can see some of the pencils underneath. It, it definitely lets you uh, really appreciate the artwork. And let me put a little blue here. Sergio, if you could. Oh, yeah, you can personalize it. He said you can make it to Steve. Absolutely. Very okay. cool. It'd be a pleasure. Let's see. I, 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 like, it's all, all these questions are like you you have to like pick your kids again. We have somebody who wants to know what the which what the best mad cover or the funniest mad cover was or the most creative one that you remember. That's uh, there's no everybody has their own taste about what's the funniest. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think the funniest are the ones that I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody else wanted, yeah, they wanted to know what was the, what was your favorite joke in Grew the Wanderer? Well, believe it or not, I enjoy so much when Mark sent me, I sent him the, the, the plot and the, the story very roughly made, and when it comes back, it has all those gags that he writes cracks me up because I'm not good with uh, with uh, how you call it uh, written uh, written humor mm -hmm. best, best help for for cartoonists paper to diffuse things <laughs> see that would have been come hard to come by about two years ago when everybody was hoarding that stuff so it's good that you got some now okay. yeah <laughs> Okay, so this is for Steve. Yeah. Steve. We can make that to Steve. Great. Let's see. And the next sketch we've got is this is going to be a big one. The next one we have is the is an eight hundred dollar one, and this one is for Jay, and it's a uh, Jay. Yeah. Can, can you remember? It was it's 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 grew. It's a uh, it's grew. And he put refer to Wolverine. I don't know what that means. U F R F F. -E refer to is is is, is Gru's dog. Refer to a Wolverine and a dragon. Yeah. A Gru, dragon? Is it's Gru refer to Wolverine and a dragon? Is that is that is that correct? If you're still out there, Jay, let us know because I don't want to mess this Gru, up. Refer to dragon and Wolverine. Yeah. I just the Wolverine doesn't seem to fit into that. Uh, it seems to be. That's, a little, that's what he wants. Well, I, I want to make sure that I'm not reading it wrong. But, yeah, that, that sounds like that's what he wants. And this is one of the $800 ones. This is the this is the You Go Nuts one. <laughs> it's fine. It, it's, uh, the dragon, of course, is the biggest one. And uh, let's, let's have a group so right here. Wait, 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 wait. This is a blank piece of paper. And watch in, like, two minutes what, what it's going to look what, like. What we need is the composition, you know? Mm -hmm. Chris Sparks says hi, Sergio. Hey, Chris, what a good friend too, and such a fantastic. He does so much good. Also, with all the benefits that he does, with all the the right now that because I keep concentrating, I forget that. 
the organization that he belongs, but uh, he's a terrific guy. And if we live closer, we'll see each other much more, but uh, the only time I see him is when I go to the convention over there. And you're not doing any convention. Somebody asked if you were going to go to the Cartoonist Society dinner in Kansas City. I don't know yet. Um, I, I, I'm all vaccinated, mm -hmm. but um, I really don't know. I really don't know. Yeah. Chris said he's with the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Not what? Michael J. Fox. Yes, that's the one. Oh, my God. He has collected so much money, he had published books, everything. He's a, a very altruistic and devoted man and a lovely family that he has. Little a daughter that is sensational. Okay, so that's and then this is Ruferto right here. Oh, the dog, absolutely. Yeah, that, that. Well, Richmond says thank you on behalf of the National Cartoonist Society Foundation. Oh please, please. It's my foundation. I love it. They do so so much good that it's a good way to help. Let's see. Yes, Desmond, we are going to have some more claims just to hang in there. This is the second to last one from the first round. And then we're going to, and we'll probably end up opening up the claims while he's working on that last one next. So, so don't go anywhere, everybody get ready. And remember how we're doing this is Ken will put up uh, the, uh, the link in the comments to the, to the Google doc and the first okay. five people. A dragon will be here. Mm-hmm. And the first five people that do the Google Doc, they will get the next five sketches. And then we have these three tiers, the single figure, the, the multiple character, and then the $800 sort of finished piece. This is the, That's what he's doing right now is one of the $800 ones. And Wolverine, right? And Wolverine, yeah. Ah, my reference book. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> and then it's, I knew some people was going to ask some some things, and I think this is Wolverine. Yeah, Th this is Wolverine, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see the uh, the one in yellow. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Yes, only five spots at a time. Well, we you know we we could take we could take twenty, but then you know there wouldn't you know it would we do it right away, and that would be the whole show. We want to make sure that everybody stays in there and keeps watching, and and we want to keep it open for everybody. We we knew some people weren't going to be able to be here right when it started, so we try to make it as fair as possible, guys. And we're being uh, you know we're we're we don't want to overwhelm um, Sergio either. Absolutely, he's, he's doing this for us. We want to make sure we keep it manageable for him. Also. Mm -hmm. Let's see. But if yeah, once again, if anybody has any more questions for Sergio, please throw them in there. I'll be happy to read them. I know we had some. I got to scroll back here because I missed a bunch. But I always like. Uh... Let's see. Where where is your what what where is your favorite place to go in the U.S., Sergio? When you work when you're uh, when you're hanging around here. Well, my wife and I we love to, to travel a lot. Uh, I, I, I used to live in New York, so I, I know New York pretty well. Mm -hmm. So what we like to do vacation is the, the how you call it, um, the areas about like the, the Grand Canyon and New Mexico and um, all the, we, we love to go to a thing called the Spanish market in uh, near Taos and all that region is just fantastic. Nice. Let's see what else. Uh, oh, Bill Morrison was, he was lamenting on a time that he took you, we got to go with you to the Nautical Museum in Hamburg, Germany. And he said you were, oh, he said you were like a candy store. <laughs> it was one of the best museums that I've, I have ever seen. I have a picture of him behind the panel of a submarine. <laughs> I have to send it to him. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is this is this okay? Yeah, I think you got everybody in there. Oh. Yeah, looks good. Great. All 
And remember, that was blank like two minutes ago, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you want me to, to ink this right now, or you want to go to some other drawings and then finish it and send it to him? He knows exactly what he's getting. Yeah, if you, want, you, if you want to move on to something else so we can get some more people in the way, it's up to you. We don't want to overwhelm you. Ask but him, if you ask him, ask him. Yeah. Ask him. Ask oh, ask, sure. Yeah. Jay, Jay, do you want him to work on this later or do you want him to uh, do it right now? It's up to you, buddy. He might put a little more care into it if he's off camera, just letting you know. Uh, and then we can move on to the next uh, one, which is a little bit easier. It's just going to be Spider-Man and Gru. It's one of the $500 ones. But let us know. Let's see. I'm going to try and highlight some. Oh, I'm waiting for that answer. I'm going to. This is J-A-I? Why? J-A-Y, Ken. Is that what it was? J-A-Y. No, just J Singh. Oh, oh just J. Okay. Letter J and Singh, S-I-N-G. Okay, so J, J and then S-I-N-G. J-S-I-N-G. J Singh? J Singh. Yeah. Perfect. J Singh. All right, so we'll find out in a second. I wanted to make sure I got this before. I, I just scroll quite a far bit back to find some of these. Um, let's see. Oh, and I missed it again. Oh, Buck Jones wanted to just say, thank you for entertaining and inspiring and influencing so many of us, uh, me, for over 50 years. So that's very nice, oh. Buck. An old time or two. Very good. <laughs> um, hold on. I might have to go back a little further. But this one is Spidey and Gru. Spidey and Gru. $800 tier. Is this an $800 one? Oh, this is an $800 one. Yeah. Okay, wow. so he wants, oh, yeah, he wants a little bit back. So this might be another one of those where you might want to work on it a little bit after you get it all set up, but we'll see. I didn't know it was a biggin. It's a biggin. We'll just call those the biggins. <laughs> we like the biggins. Yeah, the Cartoon Society Foundation likes the biggins. The only people who don't like the biggins is everybody else who hasn't made a claim yet. They're the ones who don't That's like right. the biggins. <laughs> He's thinking of a gag right now. I can see it. It's working. The, the hamster's running around the wheel. <laughs> trying to think of a gag. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ri listen, Richard Black wants to know if you've ever drawn a kangaroo or a koala. I was in Australia, invited by the by the anniversary of Mad Australian Mad, and they took me all over there. I did. Um, a complete um, uh, a book, a cover for the Australian issue, and I did an article about Australia. And uh, I, I had the best time because at the same time, it was the celebration of the National Cartoonist Society of Australia. And I was their guest and I had to go and rent a tuxedo. And, uh, and I met so many cartoonists and I was honored to give the award to one of them. Oh, I cannot tell you how, how amazing the time was over there. Yeah, and they love beer and I do too. So it was great. <laughs> What's your favorite beer? Um, Heineken. And Dos Equis. Ah. I was thinking Dos Equis in Phoenix last weekend. <laughs> they have now a Dos Equis Lager, but the, the one that I like is the, the dark one. And in Mexico, they have Tres Equis, Three Equis, which I don't think it gets imported here. And that's just an amazing beer. Wow. And the same company during Christmas brews a, a beer called Noche Buena, which is fantastic also, but it's just uh, sold during the, the Christmas time, Noche Buena. What a beer. And it's the same company that makes uh, Dos X and Tres X. Ken, is, uh, is TD Geek Show, is that, um, is that Jay? Don't know. I have no idea. That's not what it says on here. Yeah, that's why sometimes you guys your your call sign or whatever you call these what you guys call yourselves on the YouTube isn't the same as your actual name. So we need to we we don't always have them put together unless you tell us. So, um, 
Let's see what else we got. Any, any chance, any, uh, I'll put this, any plans to make a Gru coloring book? Well, I'm working right now with, uh, with Mark and Stan Sakai and Tom Luth on a book for a benefit published by, uh, by uh, the IDW to benefit Ukraine. So that's the one that I'm working then right now, and I'm working on the continuity, the next set of GRU. Uh, they, the Dark Horse right has already four issues totally drawn, and they are being colored right now, uh, called uh, Gods Against GRU, which is for the, se the series, the, the GRU, um, Fry, and the... Uh, a Gru something, I forget the name right now. But uh, so it will be out, the one that I'm working right now, probably by the end of, at the beginning of 2020, 2024. Nice. So I have a lot of work in, in progress. So the other things are not too much time and uh, also, Uh, Michael Gregory, the, the Google link, he will post it. There, There's the link right there. He's posting it right now. We have the claims available. The first five people, guys, that's the claim. All you got to do is click on it and go. We have one up in the Facebook and one up on the YouTube. I don't know which one's faster. There's a lot more people watching the YouTube, so I couldn't tell you. Let's see. Um, so this was... Uh, this is the one yeah, right. grew and yeah, grew and Spidey, and it's one of the eight hundred dollar ones. So maybe, uh, that's gonna oh, be. Also, let, let's include let's include Ruferto. Sure, yeah. Feel like throwing some background or whatever you want to do to make it to make it as nice as you want to make it. So absolutely. Well, I I finished the pencil right now, so let's oh, yeah. let's him uh, see if if he likes that. I'm sure. I'm not, I don't think anybody's gonna be mad about you throwing more characters in. <laughs> What I have to know is if he if he wants the the signature to him or just to uh, just sign it. Okay, so you can see the awesome. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, that's that's good. If you like I said, if you want to do that one off camera, you can. If you want to do a little bit of it on, it's up to you. It's up to them. Up to you guys. Yeah. Well, I, I know we have a whole other list coming in. Let's see. There was a, the person who got the one with Wolverine on it. Um, they wanted to know if you could sign it um, and and uh, put for Jared. So I guess the J stands for Jared. So they wanted to know if you personalized that one. Yeah, Here. sure. Jared. Jared. J-A-R-E-D. Perfect. And then, yeah, he said you can do it off camera. No, just you, can, you don't have to worry about it. Do it later. He loves oh, the idea of you, of you, uh, you know, putting some off-camera time. Perfect. Thank you so much. Hey, J and Jay, thank you so much for letting him do that because it allows more people to get sketches. So we appreciate that too. And I know the Cartoonist Society does. I don't know, how, I don't know if Sergio is mad at us when he has a pile of stuff he's going to do after the show's over. But. <laughs> well, that was for Jared. And the one with the uh, Sp uh, Spider-Man is for whom? Uh, Jason Williams. Jay, Jason. Okay. I will send them all in one package. So yeah. I mean, Mm -hmm. You guys, okay. So that 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 will be the. Let's see. Well, fa Facebook user, I don't know. You didn't give Streamyard permission to see your name, so I don't know what your name is. Um, but, and I'll tell everybody this one more time. We the, the second list just filled up. We put a Google Doc in the comments. And uh, if the first five people that uh, sign up for it get it, we're doing them five at a time. We're going to see how many we can get through. We get the next five are, are coming in right now, and we're going to start those. And then if we get those done in a timely manner, we'll see where uh, Sergio is, and we'll see if we can do another one. But we'll, uh, okay. we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So so what do we do now? Well, I, I, I left that. That's a good question. Ken, what are we doing now? Well, the first one would be for um, uh, Steve Hernandez. Steve, Steve? Hernandez. Is Christine? looking for he's looking for a three hundred dollars single character of Gru as Batman. Gru as Batman. As, as Batman. 
this, this, sure. This is a three hundred dollar Ken. Three hundred dollars, yes. Three hundred dollar one. Okay. And the next person, just so you can tell me, the next one is uh, uh, Hancock. He's five hundred dollars, and he wants Groove versus Dragon. Something funny. Groove, sure. funny, funny Groove versus Dragon. Yep. Got it. Then number and eight. Is uh, Lou Valenti, Va Valenti, V A L E N T I, five hundred dollar level Santa Claus with Rudolph. Oh, all right. Maybe that's going to be his Christmas card. And and if this is the five hundred dollar, no, he cannot do that. He cannot do that. He can't do that. <laughs> no, because I charge to do that for people. That's my job. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So these that's cartoons right. are for them as a as a memento. Right. They can print it, they can put it in a frame, they can put it on an album, but they cannot use it for anything because that's okay. how it makes it. Exactly. If the guy wants to have a card or a business or a Christmas card to be sent, mm -hmm. then they contact me and I charge what I charge for that, which is yeah. not... Not what I'm this here. is, exactly. Yep. No, yep. not even close. Yeah, no reproductions, guys. You heard it here. Gotcha. Please, please. <laughs> and also, reproductions will be illegal. This is a satire. That yep. we're doing as, mm -hmm. a, as a benefit. Yes. So when you draw uh, a, a Batman, I'm not infringing any rights because I'm doing a satire of it. But if they print it, like make a poster or something, that's illegal. I can go to jail for that. Yeah. yeah. No. no, no. Very I, I, was, I was just saying that. I don't think he, that was something that was intended. Well, I just it's good to people to know it's things like that. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so what I'm doing now? Uh, the first one is uh, Gru is Batman. Gru is Batman. Batman. Well, I just erased it because I just thought a better way to do it. So I, it was on the center, but I had to put it on the side. Yeah, yeah you're good. And then the last one, uh, I've got uh, three. So I need two more, Ken. So what's number nine? Uh, number nine is um, uh, uh, Usagi Yojimbo or Zombie Gru, a $300 level. Okay. And that, who's that for? That's for David Royer. David Royer. And it's either Zombie Gru, <laughs> Zombie Gru, or y Yosaki Yojimbo. Mm -hmm. All right. And the last uh, one uh, Dave right. Desmond, $800 level, Gru versus Ninjas. Wow. $800. All right. <laughs> And that's Gru versus Ninjas. Okay, this is Gru as Batman. And then, and then, just we'll see. But there were two that were actually tied for tenth place. Exactly. Wow, that's time snap to the second. So we'll see what happens. Look at that. There's a Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody made that that was, put out comments that uh, that was that made was, by uh, by DC Comics. That's great. By the collection of all the Batmans drawn by different authors. <laughs> That's great. Oh my gosh. Wow. So Ken, just out of curiosity, the other person who tied, what was theirs? It was two people. A lot I just got the first the first number 10, right? There was there was three number tens. There was three three and they're all like they're all they're all within they're all the same second. They're all at 14 seconds. Okay. So what so I just the first one, I went with the first one is the guy who won. Right. Okay. This this bad man is for how much? 300. 300. 300. So it's, 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 the, it's the, the low level, which is still going to be fantastic. I don't want to diminish it. I just want to make sure. You, um, and that, so what were the other two? Just so we've got them. Just in case. Number two, one was an $800 uh, Gru and Roferto walking away from a sinking ship. Okay. Hold wow. On walking. That's going to be another one. Walking away from sinking ship. Wow. Okay. And then the last one was Annika. Eight hundred dollars. Well, Grew Roberto and a dinosaur. Oh yeah, she did say she wanted a dinosaur, didn't she? Grew <laughs> Roberto. Those are if time allowed. Right. Where she, do you have to? Uh, she re relinquishes her rights to to a sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I relinquish my rights. All right. Well, we'll see how we go. Listen, listen, we'll see how it goes, guys. If, if he's if he's willing to do a couple of these off camera, we can definitely go through a few. But I don't want to give him too much work to do once the show's over. So, 
We want to make sure we can make as many people happy, raise as much money as possible. But we also don't want him sitting at home for the next three days doing sketches. <laughs> He's got Christmas cards to do. This man has to make a living. <laughs> no, no, I have a, my, my daughter has a, has a link that we sell in commissions. Mm -hmm. But the little ones are, they start at, at 650 and the good ones, they go the, like in the thousand. So <laughs> this is a 300. So yeah, let's see. Be, I, you know, I don't, I, I don't have the answer to that question. I don't know how to well, write notes. What stuff I was gonna say, yeah, what I was gonna, what I was gonna tell him is, I, what a lot of people do is they write down all the stuff they want and then they copy it. So the second they can put it in, they just paste it, and then it just goes, fills in everything they want to fill in, and then they hit send. It's just as fast as typing something. They already have it typed out. And people are, some people are just really good at computers like that. They can, they can just copy and paste and send and. Because everybody has the same access to these Google Docs as everybody else. It's just how fast, you know, you can get it in. So, just for a second, I have to. Uh, do no, something. take take your time, my friend. Just for a second, so it's for this also. So, I uh, I'm doing. Can I? Can you write me in a piece of paper? Oh, you're breaking up a little bit there. Just say, say that one more time. Oh, now I don't have anything. Ken, can you I, hear him? No, I can't hear him. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you broke up there, Sergio. Yeah, you broke up a little bit, Sergio. Say it one more time. Hola. Hola, <laughs> oh, there you are. There you are. What, what do you need me to write down on a piece of paper? No, no. My daughter is doing it for me. Oh, okay. No. It's, the, it's the site. If people want to get a good uh, sketch, uh, Don um, and she mails it. That's what I do. Also, be, besides the group, we do commissions. Sure. And a lot of people like larger paper, like eleven by seventeen or. Anna, can you find that? We can you can you put up a link? In the, yeah, in the that's what link? she's doing for me. Yeah. But this is the bad one. Batman. And grew as Batman. Grew-man, <laughs> grew grew Bat-grew. I don't know what you'd call him. <laughs> Bat-grew. Bat-grew? Bat-grew? <laughs> that almost sounds like a sound that uh, the dog would make. Bat-grew? <laughs> it's a good, strange commission. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, unique can be great. You know, like having grew throw your, a pie in your face. Or a cake in my case. That That's the... <laughs> that was great. Yes. Let's see. So hopefully that answers. Yeah, and, and I think you're you're probably right, uh, Chris. Annika is going to have no money by the time she gets to Heroes Con, but she'll be very happy with no money. Let's see. The keeper in the booth. Oh, uh, so, uh, Joe wanted to know what your favorite food is like, to go with your favorite beer. Paella. Paella. It's a dish that my mother used to make, and I make it, and uh, I'm so used to it. And the uh, second best thing for me are Mexican food, like a thing that they call pambazos. Oh, man, I love pambazos. What's pambazos? It's a bread with a sauce. And chorizo and potato and onions, and it's just fantastic. Oh wow! Thank you. Um, I don't know how to do this, but uh, I will put it there, right here. And if you want to copy it, um, can can you see it, Jeff? Uh, hold on. Well, as soon as it stops moving, I'm going to take a shot at it. <laughs> All right, right there is perfect. All right, let's see. Hold on, let's see. Argonescartoons at gmail.com. If you want to type that, Ken. Argonescartoons at gmail.com. You can put that in the uh, in the comments. And on Facebook, it's uh, it's, it's Argones and then uh, cartoons. And those are ways you guys, if somebody wanted to order something that was a little bigger, a little more elaborate, um, you could always contact um, Sergio that way. So if you happen not yeah, to get... Yeah, that's... Uh... 
also if they want uh, like uh, group pages or math pages or whatever you know that uh, sure so i had scrolling across the screen there sergio oh there it is right on the bottom wonderful so there you go guys if you want if you have so if anybody who hadn't gotten his commission yet and they want to uh to do that and uh, we can also get we'll get we'll get Chris to throw that up on the 4C site so that uh, we uh, do a little advertising for you there. Yeah, we'll put links up on our pages and stuff for you. Sir. Yeah, there you go. So don't don't you're going to get a lot of uh, requests for commissions, I'm sure. So <laughs> sorry about that. Well, they will have to get on the list because it's already a, a waiting list. So oh yeah, there you go. But it's a pleasure. Oh yeah, for, for listen, I, I was at uh, a convention that you were at. I think it was, I want to say it was, it was right before the pandemic. I think it was Baltimore, and you you were there, and Stan was there, in Baltimore Comic Con, I believe. Might have been Heroes in in Charlotte, North Carolina, but I just remember the lines were for were for you guys were so long, and 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 everybody kept talking about how great you were when they finally got up to meet you. So, <laughs> well. What people don't understand is that I'm a fan too. I've been a fan all my life, and I have met when I met that my uh, my people that I love. I, I I have lost my my voice. I I, I it's too there going ba 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 like a, like a bubble. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I met Otto Soglo, who dreamed that the little king that I grew up with. He called his friends. I was standing in front of him, and I couldn't talk. I was so emotional, mm. and uh, I, I was like, uh, I was what, twenty-four, and I, I couldn't talk. So he called his friends, all the cartoonists, as I NCS, <laughs> and they, they arrive and they says, "You see what I do with my fans? I leave them speechless." <laughs> <laughs> and I go, laughing <laughs> like a bubble, you know. That's funny, and. Um, Uh, does somebody ask? Do you still sell original art on your on your site? Do you still sell? Do you sell original art from uh, the, yeah. your books? Yes, 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 yes. And somebody asked earlier if you have if you still have some of the older things you did years and years ago, or have you sold a lot of that? Yeah, I have uh, some pages. Well, not pages, but sketches that I did even before Gru was published. And um, there's collectors who like those things, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I it hurts seeing them go away. But <laughs> All right, one more down. That's the problem. Once you start drawing, you don't want to stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ken, the uh, the Gru versus the funny Gru versus the dragon was that a five hundred dollar or eight hundred dollar? I'm sorry, I didn't get it written down. Five, okay. Ta -da. Beautiful, excellent. And that one is for Steve. If we didn't already write it on there, and you already did, you're ahead of the game. Yeah, to Steve, and um, what what is the color of the of the is yellow of the, the 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 bat or the a little bat on the chest i think it's just i don't know if the i think around the bat is usually yellow i don't think the it's uh, i think the bat itself is just black uh, if you wanted okay. to make it black you could fill it in but you know what you're making your own thing so you could do it however you want screw batman he can have what he wants yeah he, he, you can make it pink i'm just kidding don't make it pink. <laughs> <laughs> i would make it chartreuse the truth, exactly. <laughs> Whatever that is. Okay, so that's it. Wonderful. And that's Steve. Okay. That's Steve. The next one we have is for Hung, and it's uh, $500, and it's a funny Gru versus a dragon. Okay. Chris Sparks said he'll be at Heroes. We'll be at Heroes too, Chris. Yeah. We'll be able to run into you.
Hey, but if anybody missed it, Sergio doesn't have any plans. It's, it's yes, it's not pink, it's salmon. For exactly, uh, somebody has any. Uh, Sergio doesn't have any plans to do any cons uh, anytime soon. But you know, down the road, I'm sure uh, if he's able to, he'll go back to doing some cons again. Sure, sure. Once everything goes a little more logical, you know. Right mm -hmm. now, my problem is that everybody's taking it very nonchalant. You know, they they are not wearing masks. It says, "Oh, it's over." It ain't over. It's, it is not over. Listen, you're you preaching know? to the choir here, my friend. And uh, my call and, on every show is to get vaccinated. So, Still. and uh, a lot of the people are going around and says, "Oh, it's over." Ha ha. Well. Say goodbye to your to your mother. You live with her. Sergio, um, I, I apologize in advance for this. Mr. <laughs> Bill joined us. For what? Mr. Bill, if you look at the camera, you can see a funny looking guy at the bottom of the screen there. Oh my God! I know who he is. <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? What are you trying to say? Just joking. Just Bill joking. Morrison, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Morrison. Bill Hi, Morrison. everyone. Hi, Sergio. Great artist and great friend. And I do miss him so much since he moved away, you know. I miss you, too. But I, I, uh, my wife and I are planning a trip to L.A. next month. So we're going to see you. Absolutely. If, if, if your daughter will let us. <laughs> well, um. Uh, yeah, I think by then we we got our we got our shots and uh, we just tested negative uh, coming back from France. Oh, by the way, did you get my email in French? Yes, I did. Thank you. Oh, I figured it out. Oh my God, he must think it's, it's a French spam or something. <laughs> well, it's funny when when you're over there. Like if you go to um, certain websites like PayPal. Hmm. Um, it automatically detects what country you're in, so everything is all the the text is in French. So ah. You have to actually make a selection to turn it back to English, and uh, it's it's like that with the airline and everything. No, I, I wrote that one in French, so it was very simple. Yeah, so I mean, it it would have been plausible that you sent the email in English and they and the French uh, whatever the. Whoever the gods of the French internet are, um, <laughs> translated it into French. No, no, it's uh, it was in French. Now. Okay, so, wait, so, I, so he, I he was mad you didn't. He was mad you didn't answer it. Is what he was saying. Oh, but, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's fine. It was it was a, a hectic couple of days, the last few days, because we found out. Um, our host told us that. To fly back, we only needed proof of vaccination. And then we found out the day before leaving that in order to get back into the U.S., we had to have the negative COVID test. Um, so everything got a little bit crazy. <laughs> Don't you miss Don Rosa's chilies? <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, we have a great cartoonist friend who who is called Don Rosa. He does the Mickey, the Donald Duck comics. Yeah, the Scrooge McDuck. He has, he has a chili farm. He raises chilies, and uh, I I using one of the stories which hasn't been out yet of of Gru and the Gods. One of the they, they making cheese dip, and one of the recipes, it's uh, using. Uh, Don Rosa's chiles. Don Rosa, <laughs> one word. Rosa chiles is part of the recipe for the cheese dip. <laughs> Don Rosa chiles. We, we, we had Don next to us at the Mega Con. Ken, Can Can I just sent you a picture? Can you put that picture up if you get it? If you can figure out how to throw it on there, I just sent you a picture. Are you this, talking this to me? Oh yeah, well, no, no, I asked, I told Ken to put a picture up because we we Don Rosa was right next to us when we did it. We just did a show, a Megacon in in Orlando, Florida, and this is the a picture I took of Don while he was next to us. Oh, um, he's a great, great guy too. Do I do I, do I increase? Uh, you, you can. You can do it later if you don't want to do it now. It's up to you. It makes no difference. There you go. Sergio, so do, do you remember is, when um, that one's for H Hung H U N G H U H U H -U 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 H -U
Oh. And, there, and if you look at the screen, this is the great picture I got of Don. Uh, of Don <laughs> there he is, your buddy. Oh, my God. Yes. So uh, do, you, do you remember when we did the tour in Germany? And we, we were together. I have out? pictures of that. I have pictures of, with him, too, having dinner. Yeah. With Francois, with Francois Walteri, the Belgium cartoonist. Right. Francois, yeah. Oh, my so, God. So I'll tell I'll tell the audience what happened. We um, ah, Sergio, yes, Sergio and I were both brought over by Panini because Panini in Germany publishes Mad and The Simpsons. So they brought us over for Frankfurt Book Fair. And we had and Don Rosa was there, and we had dinner with Don, and he brought out these chilies, and uh, everybody tried them, and um, that was that was great, great fun. And then uh, I think probably the next day or maybe a couple of days later, Sergio and I did this tour of Germany where we went to different comic shops, sometimes, you know, two shops per day. And we went to the first one. And at the end of the signing, the store owner came out as we were saying our goodbyes. And he had a big um, gallon plastic bag full of chilies from Don Rosa. And uh, just for Sergio, you know, it, it, the shop owner presented them to Sergio and says, these are from Don. He was here last week before the <laughs> festival. That's true. And uh, and it was delightful. And then um, the next day we went to another signing. And at the end of the signing, a different store owner comes out with another bag full of chilies for Sergio. <laughs> and it happened at every signing we went to. So So it was Don's little joke. That because because he knew that we were going to be signing a week later at all the stores where he had done signings, and he knew Sergio was going to be there in a week, so he left these chilies, uh, which he brought over in a suitcase, probably <laughs> illegally. I don't know how he got them into the country, <laughs> but um, it was it was an elaborate joke on Sergio and obviously there was there was no way that Sergio could bring all these chilies back to the US no it's so yeah it, it, if you tried you probably would still be in jail <laughs> and uh so one night at dinner he got the idea to have the chef come out and we we thanked the chef for a wonderful dinner and then Sergio brought out a bag of chilies and said can you do anything with these <laughs> yeah. And the chef was overjoyed. He, I mean, you could, you could see his brain starting to work on tomorrow's menu, and and the things that he could do with these chilies, which you know he <laughs> normally wouldn't be able to get. Um, yeah. And I think you, I think you ended up giving doing the same thing to different chefs at different restaurants, right? Well, yeah, because I couldn't bring it back home. You know? Yeah. And my daughter has made the best salsas with with the chilies. Some so piquant that I cannot even taste it. Yeah. Whenever um, fans, you know, we've been we've been next to Don at a couple of conventions, and whenever fans come up and start talking about peppers, Don always corrects them. He says they're not peppers; they're chilies. <laughs> yeah. So I, I've been kind of grateful that I didn't make that mistake, but I got to I got to learn from hearing him scold uh, other fans. That, that's like when people confuse Hawaiian shirts and bowling shirts, right, Bill? Yes, <laughs> exactly the same thing. <laughs> Bill Bill doesn't like that when they call bowling shirts Hawaiian shirts. No, it's not. It's not bowling shirts. It's uh, um, people parent. will. No, it'll be like any all over print shirt. You know, if, it, if there's like a colorful shirt that's got like an all over print that repeats over and over, people have just taken to calling those Hawaiian shirts. But they're not. They're not Hawaiian shirts unless they have ukuleles or lays or palm trees or hula girls, um, even surfers. Yes. But you can't have like an all over print shirt of Batman and call it a Hawaiian shirt. At least, at least, don't do it in front of Bill. He will scold you. No, just don't do it. <laughs> It'll make you a better person. There you go. Absolutely. 
<laughs> and, the, and and whenever Sergio, you wanna if you wanna finish this one, feel free. If you wanna move on, the next one is. No, no I was doing because Bill was talking, and yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, you I, want me to start the other one? Just tell me, and 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 I put this away and start yeah, with the new one. Yeah. Well, the next one is just it's the Santa Claus and Rudolph one, and that's a um that's a five hundred dollar. What's a Rudolph? Ru Rudolph the Red nosed Reindeer. Uh, but let me think of a joke because that's a. That what what he wants this? I mean, if he's not going to use it on a Christmas card. No, he's not. No, it's just for him. Just for his personally. Just whatever you want to do. He just likes uh, the Christmas theme stuff. Ah, oh, wonderful. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Let me get ho, ho. <laughs> Christmas in June, everybody. Christmas in June. All right, Bill, as long as you're here, why don't you draw something for us? I'm just. <laughs> I'm actually working on, I can't show it to you, but I'm working on the cover for. The uh, program book for San Diego Comic Con. That's right. They have asked Bill to do the the cover for the program book this year, and uh, he is nice enough to let Ken and I hang out with him over San Diego Comic Con. So that's going to be a lot of fun, and we're gonna we're gonna have a good old time in uh, San Diego. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that'll be one. Uh, you guys will definitely want to see a copy of that. I'm sure that nobody's going to come up to our table in San Diego and. Uh, ask you to sign that thing i'm sure <laughs> i'm looking forward to signing many uh many uh tens of copies <laughs> <laughs> oh wow the ncs will have a brand new booth at san diego comic-con this year wow very nice yeah we're still we're still toying with the idea we don't know how big our booth our, our table is going to be with bill yeah, we're still we're still figuring it out. No, actually, I committed today, so we're. Did you? We're, yes, so you we'll committed? have a. Uh, what did you commit to? I the committed full? to the uh, the eight foot table. The full eight foot. All right, we got the full eight foot table, guys. That's double the space that we thought we were going to get. So so they'll, it was definitely going to be a lot of stuff to work with there. That's nice. That means he can sign even more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We'll have lots of comics then we can bring. Well some comics we'll have some we'll have some nice stuff we can have for us there so come please come by and see us if you guys are going to be at san diego um <laughs> so not only do you get a beautiful drawing by sergio but you get serenaded with christmas carol mm -hmm. he's getting it listen he's, he's getting into it <laughs> Yeah, Tom says that they're going to be in the same spot they were before, but they're going to have a different structure. So that'll be mm -hmm. cool to see. We'll definitely come by and see you, Tom, when we're out there. It might take us 45 minutes to walk, even if you're only like, you know, three tables away, but we'll, we'll try. Is that, is that satisfactory? That is more than satisfactory, sir. That is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that's the best thing about the conventions is the sitting with the friends, you know, and having dinners and walk around and go to, oh, please. Oh, there you go. So they're also, uh, Tom just told us they're going to be debuting some National Cartoonist Society icon pins from you and uh, Stan Sakai cool. while they're there. So that'll be cool. Oh, that's great. I didn't know about that. Ah, what? No, no bill pins. I think oh, no, <laughs> oh, no, no. Nobody wants that. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, hey, I'll, I'll be happy if I finally uh, get my name on the booth this year. Are they after, not after there? having after having been president and and uh, not having my name on the booth for years and years. Hint, hint. It's probably too late. They probably already made it. Yeah. Oh, I think they're going to. Now he's writing a note right now. <laughs> Bill's name. You got to start working on your Ruben speech. Um, Amelia, this is up. You want a pin like this? Is that what you want? Uh, well, hypno toad pin. A little. Too, too bad I don't have the rights to that. <laughs> So um, yeah. the reason I 
decided to pop in is uh, number one. I wanted to wish Jeff a happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much, Bill. I appreciate that. Yeah, I hope you're you're uh, having a great birthday and not listen, working too hard. The, listen, this is this is one of the greatest birthdays I've ever had. They're just just enjoying the conversation and watching some great art. So yes, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And uh, I wasn't I wasn't on at the beginning. So did you guys mention that I'm coming on next month? We did. Oh, we did. Okay. We said that yeah, you were going to be on, and you you're going to stay on for seven hours, and you're going to draw everything. That's what we sold everybody. That's right. Everything, everything under the everything that Sergio doesn't get to. <laughs> I'm going to fly to Detroit so I can poke him every time he tries to fall asleep. <laughs> uh, I'm just enjoying watching this drawing take shape. I know it's it's fun to be one of us right now, right? Just yeah. sitting here. It's somebody great. said somebody commented before they said it's like virtually looking over his shoulder yeah mm -hmm. yeah it is. I think sergio was so worried about the can he wanted the camera angle just right and i said listen you know if it's perfect it's kind of spoiling everybody because nobody's ever used to seeing that because you know at a convention you get to only see this is so much better than even you could see at a convention because it's it's not a perfect angle but it's it's like it's better than you'd get to see if you were at a table watching him draw so it's just well, that angle, fortunately we can change all the time Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this video is probably going to get rewatched a lot just for people yeah. to watch how you draw. How quickly. Like this one's almost done. <laughs> See, Marson, it's that easy. Look at the. <laughs> I know if somebody asked me to draw Santa's sleigh, I'd be like, Spending the you know the first fifteen minutes looking for reference. I was gonna say he turned to me and said, "Can you reference?" <laughs> no, not that one. No, not that one. No, not good enough. Oh yeah, and, and and Bill, I've only been after you to Simpsonize me for like two years now, and and, and uh, Sergio already drew me with a cake being thrown in my face by Gru in the first three minutes of the show. What's up with that? Well, you know what I always say: if you have to be shown up by somebody, be shown up by the best. There you go. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna go back to just enjoying the show but uh thanks for having me on great to see you sergio oh my pleasure i wish uh we were closer i i something that i have for you that i have to send still but one of these days well i'll see you next month so maybe ah yeah. Perfect. I'll I'll bring an extra suitcase. A little train. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, uh, a FedEx tube. Oh, a FedEx tube. Okay. <laughs> well, thank All you right. so much. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Bill. Thank you don't, so much. Don't, thank don't you. work Sergio too hard. My best to to uh, to care. And give my best to Charlene and uh, and everyone else and. Uh, so good to see you. Uh, please, all the time, my friend. And I wanted to 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 change cameras, but I forgot how to do it. <laughs> Is Kristen there I helping have, you? Or? I you have a second. Take a second. Take a second. Take a second. Take a second. Here, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, we'll wait. Another one. Here. Take your time. Look there. there he is. I move this like that. Yeah. Ah, there he is. There he is. And then I am in the studio <laughs> working. And it's a pleasure to see you. And I can see you guys. And uh you too, my friend. Uh there's there's a sculpture of Gru that probably you have never seen that I wanted to show to you guys. Oh, let's put him on the full screen there, Ken, so we can get a good look at this then. Look at that. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh. Let me take this off. I don't know. Closer. Oh, there. Yes. See? Wow. Is that something that's available for sale? It will be eventually. Yeah. Oh, that's it's fantastic. fantastic. Wow, that's terrific. That's that was really Milton, the, the guy who did all the the, the sculptures for uh, for um, for Disney. Oh yeah, he's he's fantastic. Wow, that's so great. He's the best there is. Yeah, no, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. I don't think that's going to fit in a tube, though. I'm just <laughs> He's not giving that to you, Bill. Oh, it's fantastic. 
this is just the the, the sculpture. They make it. Uh, they make it. Uh, they make it. Uh, they make it uh, and 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 this is the other one that he did. That. Oh, it's got the dog oh, yeah. and everything. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's perfect. That referto is great. Yeah. The, the, the sword is just paper. When I, I make it, it's going to be silver. Mm. Nice, huh? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Thanks, Bill. All right, Bill. Thanks for stepping in. Have a great night, everyone. God, Bill has such a better camera than I do. That's all I have to say. I, just, I, just, I, I go back, back to settings, right? Settings. Yeah, go back to settings. Mm -hmm. Then it has a camera. There you go. Mm -hmm. This is the one? No, it's this one. Okay. Yes. Okay. So okay. I just put it back, right? Yeah. Look at that. Like a pro. Man, I'm good at this. <laughs> so, do I cross it or how, how I how I make it bigger? Uh, that's fine, right there. No, you're good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah you're, you're good, good. Right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, perfect. Because before all those little lettering was away. Yeah. What happened if I no better don't touch the the cross? Yeah. Well, they can see it there. Yeah, we can see it there. You're yeah, good. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And then after you finish this one, uh, the next one is going to be, oh, this is the fun. This is one of the $300 ones. It's either your choice of Yasagi Ojimbo or Zombie Gru. This is just one of the $300 ones. So that's the next one. And that's for, that'll be for David. The one you're doing right now is for Lou. L-O-U. Wait, wait a second. I'm doing this. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm throwing a lot of stuff at you. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do it in my head as well as uh, trying to tell you. <laughs> and thank everybody who's been watching all night tonight we appreciate you guys and thank everybody who's getting a sketch and everybody who's trying to get a sketch uh it's it's you know it's, it's such yeah, a thank you from the ncs because it really helps a lot hey tom thank you so much for being in the audience tonight and he's saying and, and tom's uh, richmond again says thank you sergio so much oh please thanks tom he should uh, say hello also Okay, so. there you go. That's that's the invitation, Tom. If you want to, you know, you have to. But he said he's got to go, so I'm guessing he's got to get out of here. But listen, message Ken if you got a minute, you can hop on too. Say hi to the stash. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, Saliva. That's the key, right? That's the done, and then I sign it. Look at that, gorgeous. And then we do a little erasing here. Just and, then, yeah. and then the name on the back of that one's going to be Lou. Hmm. L O U. L O U. Uh, L O U. Okay, so now a little color. Look at that. A little hard. Oh, look at that. You're going to get a little Christmas red. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. See, that's I was gonna say that's key. Otherwise, it could be Donner. It could be Blitzen. You don't know. It has to shine like that. There you go. Oh, look at that. Who knew you could do so much with just a colored pencil? Look at that. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Oh yeah. See. It's gorgeous. John D. John D. Hopper says you are one of his art heroes. So that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. I know that feeling. I have my heroes. <laughs> Do you collect art, Sergio? I, I, I had the ones that I did at the beginning that I had the people that I grew up with. And I have him frame, and uh, yes, I, I I did collect, but it's not really a collection. It's more of a um, 
uh, mem memoirs of the people that I grew up with. Because I've been offered a lot of art to buy, but I don't collect it, like serious art, mm -hmm. like Batman and Superman and things like that. So, you see it? It's beautiful. So great. That's for Lou. Lou. Okay, so new, new, right? Yeah, yeah, the next one is for David Royer, and that's going to be, it's your, it's your choice, either Yosagi Yojimbo or Zombie Gru. <laughs> this is for Lou, you say, right? No the, no, the other one was for Lou. This one is for David. David. Okay. A Zombie Gru or... Um, or Yosagi Yojimbo. Osage Yojima, which I love the character. It's up to you. And this is just the three hundred dollar, the single figure. Well, See, his, the, the gears are turning. He's thinking. He, he must have had some Usagi from Usagi from the big boss, you know. I mean, from the big guy. So let me make a zombie groove here. No, that's that, that'd be ugly. Let me do Usagi. There you go. The back and forth. I love it. Kyle Wright says, yay for David. He's a great member of the Yosagi Yojimbo community. So there you go. So this will be a cool. Yeah. When Stan was on last month, he was nice enough to do me a Yosagi. I love it. It's right behind me over here. It's perfect. I guess you've known Stan a long time, Sergio. Excuse me? You've known Stan a long time, too? Yes, yes, yes. From the beginning, when he started. Yeah, he talks very highly of you. And uh, we have traveled together many places. And I have, it's the only guy I have slept with. <laughs> <laughs> we were in a train, and I had the lower thing, and he had the top one when we were in. In in um, I, I forget where we were in Finland. We were in Finland. We took the train, and uh, we shared the the room. He was upstairs, and I was downstairs. Oh. I love seeing your version of it. It's so cool. I was say, David. Now he need a uh, he need a guru by stand. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, that, that, that's something that uh, could be a possibility. You never know. David has quite a. David's got a lot of fans here. He's got. A, he's got. A, he's going to rival uh, Sergio here in the in the chat. Did you so popular, Warrior? What's going on? Yeah. I'm going to assume Facebook user is Avi just because I always assume it's Avi. But uh, we, I don't know if we're going to be doing another um, another uh, uh, claim, but we'll, we'll have to play it by ear. We still have uh, one or two more after this, depending on where we are. And we are at the, around the two hour mark. So I don't want to keep, you know, as long as, as long as uh, Sergio is, wants to be with us, he can be with us. But whenever he's, if he's ready to be done at the end of these, then we'll just shut it down. So stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Gotta hang out. Let's see. Oh, this is gonna be nice. So yes, yeah, so you read you uh, Usagi Jimbo, Stan, uh, Sergio. <laughs> mm -hmm. do, you read, do you read uh, Usagi or Jimbo? Of course, I read it from the beginning. I'm a fan of Japanese lore, and uh, nobody as good as Stan to tell a story. He he knows so much about the lore of, of Japan. I'm, I'm Japan is one of the countries that I have visited the most because I I love their art, I love their traditions. And um, it's uh and and Stan knows so much about it. You know it's uh
Yeah, it's a super interesting. And he makes it out to be really, I mean, just entertaining and fun and the art's incredible. And yeah, it was said, you know, the funny thing was, is we didn't know, we didn't realize that uh, Stan was a, a letterist, even on his own stuff, but he also used to letter the uh, Spider-Man, com- the, 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 the daily newspaper ones that, that Stan Lee used to write. And yeah, then, Sunday ones, yeah. Sunday ones, yeah. And it was so funny because Ken actually owns one that was uh, written by Stan Lee and drawn by uh, uh, Alex Saviak and inked by Joe Sinet and just so happens to be lettered by Stan Sakai. And he wouldn't well, have known that if Stan hadn't been on the show. So that was really kind Stan of... Stan is so busy working, doing so many things now. And he still has that time to let it grow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has let it grow, the grows, except a couple in the early, early beginning. Mm-hmm. Okay. But so he's very good too. He's amazing. Have a good night, Chris. Thanks for joining us, buddy. And, and we'll see uh, you here, boss. Hey, Chris. Nice to have you there. Yeah, he says, much love, Sergio and Christine. <laughs> Let me cheat here a little. That's great. And we had we had a couple of questions in the chat about uh, your 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 biggest. Um, I think we've already answered these. Who are who are some of your art heroes? Was a question. Art in general or comic art? There you go. Art in general or comic art? Let's find out. Stan said um, that was a uh, night to remember on that train. Oh, is, is Stan Sakai? Did he join us? Look at that. Stan's watching. Oh, apparently that night in the train meant a lot to him, too. <laughs> yes. we, we saw things in, in that country, amazing things. And I don't remember. It was Finland or it was at... Um, uh, the other Scandinavian country, uh, Norway. I forget what was what we've been in both of them. Oh, and, and uh, they they said in general, who are your your art heroes? In general, doesn't have to be comic related. Well, I am fascinated with illustration, and uh, and and classic art, of course, but um, I I love general in general. I I. I I spend so much time in in in, um, in museums. It's uh, Goya, uh, any any of the artists of the Renaissance, you know. I just um, and of the moderns, contemporary, all the Mexican muralists, Diego Rivera. Oh. Hola. We're almost over. Yeah. ¿Quieres que le cambie la cámara? Eh? No, no, we're doing, quería yo quitar estos para que se fuera más grande, pero. Yeah, and thank your son in law for us too. He was a re- he really was helping out earlier. Oh, well. Is this for somebody in the special? This one is, let's see, this the is for, this is for David. David Royer, yes, yes, yes. Well, with apologies to Stan, which is over there. Sorry, Stan. <laughs> Thank you. Ta-da. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. <laughs> Let's see. No, no, no. Very fine. Okay, so what is that next? Uh, 
the, the next one I've got is the, is uh, Groove vs. Ninjas, and this is one of the $800 ones. So this is another one if you just wanted to. Yeah, we'll go through that. And uh, what time is it now? 6.15? Yeah, it's already. If you want to call it at that point, it's up to you. We had we had two more that we could do, but once again, I'm not going to. No, 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 no. If you said something quick, uh, this I'm just going to pencil it and we'll, we'll yeah. link it later. Sure. Yeah, it's mine. So wh what is this? What this is the one? Uh, Groove vs. Ninjas. This one's for Dave, not David, uh, but Dave. Good. Uh, basically, is going to be. And it's the $800 level, too. Yes, yeah, the $800 one. So it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, the ninjas here. Just, it's, I just, it just amazes me that it goes from that to what it turns into. No. <laughs> it always amazes me. But it's just one, I have to research. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the research. This, it, it took, listen, it took 60, 60 plus years so that you could turn a piece of paper into this in a matter of uh, minutes. <laughs> so it'll be with the proper tools, you know. Mm hmm. And he is not enemy of them, so he's a friend, so he'll be joined them with his two swords. Okay, right. So we got a lot of cartoonists in the like. Oh, yeah. Kristen Ryan. Uh, who else was it? Scott uh, listen, Annika and uh, and Chris are getting a little too chummy. I got I to gotta put something. I got to make them start fighting with each other a little more. <laughs> they got, got each other's backs a little bit too much. <clears throat> did, Annika, did you hear what Chris said about the Padres? Oh, there, that'll start something. What's the Padres? Oh, uh, uh, Annika's uh, from San Diego. She's she like she's a Padres fan. She likes the Padres. What are they? The baseball, the baseball team. Baseball team. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. There, there you go. And then and oh yeah and and, and oh yeah and and Chris said. No, uh, she uh, Annika said something about your hockey team that got their butts kicked a couple weeks ago, or last week. I don't know what it was. She was being really mean though, Chris. Okay, there. Now I've got a rift going between them. Let's see how that works out. Now they, these are all four C uh, uh, faithful. So these are all people who help us out at shows and work the uh, the backstage with us sometimes. And the I think the only reason why they weren't here live with us is because they've been trying to get sketches all night. Is he happy with this <laughs> position? The composition. I I don't know if uh, if Dave is on right now, but I'm sure I'm sure. What's like name? Dave. D A V E. Just Dave. Okay. That if he's good. around, ask him. So Dave, yeah, if you're out there, buddy, if you're happy with the composition, he says thank you, Sergio. It's awesome. There you go. So he's happy. And ask him if he wants to be signed to him or just signed it. Once again, David, if after when you get this, do you want it personalized or just just signed? We can knock that out now if uh, if, it's, if you want to personalize. It takes a couple seconds for them to hear me and then them to get back. It's all it's all it's all delay. Yeah. To me, he said. Oh, the personalized, perfect. So. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Uh, we have, we have two more of the eight hundred level ones, but like I said, if you just want to. Do them out. You can, and then do them later if you want to, or if you want to stop now. It's up to you. Well, are you tired? Just, tired? No, I, I do forever. The only thing is, if it's a is a benefit for them, and I, I don't have to draw it now. Yes. So we can do it, and it, it's more money for the NCS. No? Sure. All right, well, one, all right, well, the further, okay, I got you, Annika. I, I hear you, I hear you, okay. So the first one we've got is a, um, uh, uh, this is Gru, walk, Gru and uh, his dog walking away from a sinking ship. That was the uh, uh, $800 level. 
Ken, I didn't get a name on that one too. Can you um, refresh? I didn't fit. It couldn't fit it on my paper. That was a uh, Kurt. O S E R. Kurt. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I did. I did read something about you. Um, you and you were on Futurama. They had you. I, I guess it was your head, and you did. Like, you were doing a panel for a comic book convention. Is that right? No. Nope. In in the year three thousand and ten, on the Futurama show. I was, was at the museum. It was on a jar next to Nixon. We were. I was one of the only surviving cartoonists of, of the period, <laughs> and uh, Hero wanted to be a cartoonist, so. He decided that probably the secret was my mustache. <laughs> so he reached, he reached on, the, on that formal, formaldehyde jar. <laughs> jar and pulls my my mustache. And the only word I said in the whole show was, ow! <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, that's one more word than Bill Morrison has got to say. Because yeah. <laughs> even though he had his own character, Robot Bill Morrison, uh, Billy West did the voice for Robot Bill Morrison. So Bill Morrison, even though he was a character on the show, didn't even get to do his own voice. So you should feel honored. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm the voice over on a show called The Casa Grandes, mm -hmm. which is a, a Mexican family. And uh, that's for uh, Nickelodeon, I think. Yeah. Oh. And um, I, I am the voice of the parrot, one of the parrots. His name oh, is Paco. Wow. And we're doing two episodes, and I'm doing a third one. That's awesome. As a parrot, <laughs> voiceover. Can you imagine? <laughs> but that was because a friend of mine is the writer of the show, one of the best cartoons, Latino cartoons, fantastic politic cartoons. Lalo Alcaraz. If you don't know his work, you should know, because he's amazing. He has a comic strip called La Cucaracha. <laughs> Bill Morrison says it was an honor to have his voice done by Billy West. Yes, we know, we know. <laughs> he is the official voice actor of Bill Morrison. Yeah, exactly. Billy West is the official voice actor of Bill Morrison. <laughs> yeah, we we were nice enough to have a uh, we had drinks one night with uh, Phil Lamar and. Uh, was Planet, right? Yeah, I was at Planet. Yes, yes. We had a very, yeah, he was, he, he, we hung out for about a couple hours with Phil. He's a really great guy. Oh, yeah. He does a lot of the voices on uh, Futurama and amongst a million other things that man does. Ugh. Oh, apparently Billy West can do a great Popeye. All right. Never heard his Popeye. That's it. Does he want this one autographed to him, dedicated, or just drawn? Well, Kirk, if you're still out there, Kurt, just let us know if you want it personalized or not. Ken, it's a Kirk or Kurt. I'm sorry. C U R T or K U R T. K U R T. I'm sorry. That's what I meant. Kurt. Mm -hmm. And if he's okay. still out there, he'll answer us. If not, then uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. And if that's good with that one, you can finish that one later, and then. I yep. just I just have a five hundred dollar one, which is just grew and a dragon. <laughs> they love the dragon. They do. Kurt said, "No need to personalize." You don't need to personalize it. So Kurt's good. This one, yeah, the grew and the dragon, and then and she she wanted the uh, um the the dog also, but it's just a five hundred dollar one. So if you don't want to throw that in, you don't have to. dinosaur. The dinosaur, dinosaur is the most important part. She Not a dragon. Not a dragon. A dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> 
What type oh, of dinosaur? Dinosaur. Oh my god, I said a dragon, didn't I? I'm all in. I'm all. So it's a dinosaur, not a dragon. A dinosaur. Ooh, I could have screwed that she, up. She Referto versus a dinosaur. Oh my gosh, Referto versus a dinosaur. Annika, could you change more stuff? It's 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 Megacon last year all over again with Jay. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, let me. I, I, I'm not even gonna so this this is a five hundred, right? Five hundred. Yeah. yeah. So just Referto versus a dinosaur. Okay. Ah, oh, uh, wonderful. Thank you. She is. Uh, yeah, she she had me running all over last year, getting her a sketch that changed every single time I talked to her. So I'm familiar with this process. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry, sweetie. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not mad. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That's, her, that's her favorite thing to do. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> uh, what type of dinosaur he, she likes? Uh, any kind of dinosaur. Any, any dinosaur. She just loves the way she really wants you to draw a dinosaur. Your favorite dinosaur. Well, um, oh, hand me, por favor, el libro de... de the 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 Emilio, I've already I've already forgotten about all this. I got them all done. They're all mailed out. I, I I've I've moved on. So I don't know. I don't even remember which one yours was. Honestly, I've tried to put all that out of my mind. <laughs> Linda got it right. A Jane Foster Soros. <laughs> Jane Jane Foster Soros. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Monica says a book of dinosaurs is making an appearance. It's, I have a, the, the best, uh, Bill Stout, it's a great artist. The best, and he had a book about dinosaurs, which is the best book ever. Uh, what happened to it? Oh my God. Da, 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 da. I know you see a space there, so that means I took it off to read it or to do something with it. I need to put it back. That's see the space. Yeah, that's where it goes. Oh. My God! He's trying to pick a dinosaur. How frustrating! I, uh, you know, I, th th there's a lot of them. I have a lot of books, but that one is a magic book. The rest it's so good. Ah. This is a dragon. Okay, let me do a second. Uh, okay. How can I have this camera and have the dragon on that camera? See, I don't need to see Jeff or Ken right now. You do not need to see us. I need is this camera. I don't know if you can. You might have to use a phone or a second device. I don't think you can ah, use yeah. the cameras. Here, here, here. Where's my cell phone? Here. Ah, very good. Oh, the, I, I never use it. You know that a week, I have only 14 <laughs> minutes a week of use. <laughs> 14 minutes a week? Oh, my God. Yeah. So if I put... Uh, Put into I use a 14 minutes in a span of 10 minutes. I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, that, look at that. You get to see the magic. So, Buck Jones is here. He said, in 2005, I had the great honor to create cartoons for the NCS Rubin Weekend in Scottsdale. It's part of the tribute to Sergio and his style. The best part was getting to meet Sergio as a result of that. This is a Tyrannosaurus. Nice. Is she still there? Oh, she she's is. still there. Well, I guess she's. I copied the, 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 the dinosaur right here. So, <laughs> Monica, you okay with a tyrannosaurus? I think she's okay with whatever. She's probably giddy right now. Her, yeah, she's doing one of these. Yeah, one of the, one of the 
She's like, T-Rex, I love it. A TR with a little hands. Exactly. And little if you just put Thor's name somewhere in there, she'd be great. Uh. <laughs> and also, I, I just yeah. want her to, to, to see it like mm -hmm. that, and, and then we'll finish it later, of course. Absolutely. Yep. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, if you want to switch back to the face cam, we can uh, we can get this. Uh, well, that's it, back. right? That that's yep. it. That's all we have. That's everybody. What's her name here? What's the name for the lady? Uh, Annika. A N I. A N I. A N K A. A N K N. Anyanka. No. A N I K A. Sorry. Anka. Annika. Mm -hmm. N A N A N A N I K A Anika. Yes. Perfect. Anika. Okay. So we move this like this. Mm -hmm. Then I go with uh, this, I go back to Thanks. settings. And then I go to Arriba. Camera. Yes. Camera. No, no, no. In the quadro. I <laughs> no, that's the Mexican one, so I go to this one. Yes. Ah, like a pro, there he is. I, I, close. Close, I close this? Yeah. Yes. Ah, gracias, Joel. No problem. Yes. Sin ti, no hubiera podido ser nada. <laughs> Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you, guys, and I hope we get some good money for the NCS. Oh, yes. yes. It was such a great, great show. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It was our pleasure. I really enjoyed it a lot. I mean, we, it, it was could, really a pleasure. You know what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 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 one thing, I, one thing, I, don't, when, when Ken ends the show, don't hang up. Just just stay on with us. So just, just to lay that out there in advance. Okay. Anyways, Ken, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, so we can debrief and everything like that. But yeah, thank yeah, you yeah. so much for doing this. Um, it was a lot of fun. We had it. We had a huge crowd. This, this was the biggest crowd we've ever had watching one of these shows. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, there was a lot of people um, uh, who were looking, who were trying to get claims, and uh, I'm sure you made a lot of people happy tonight. So thank you. Yeah. For anybody who didn't get anything, <clears throat> you're sorry about that. But you know, you joining us. Thank you guys for trying. Thank you guys for being here, and uh, uh, thank you Sergio for being here, and thank you Cartoonist Society Foundation for allowing us to do this. And uh, also, it's a really great cause. As as my daughter says, if you go to to the uh, the Facebook Aragones Cartoons at gmail.com. Like yep. this day, talk with my daughter and she's she's taking care of me. You know? Yeah, absolutely. She if you guys want to get something, that's that's another way to get into it. And as you can see, even though he probably has a weight on his commission list, he goes yeah, through yeah. them pretty quick. So yes, yeah. well that's what I enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's just a great pleasure. Great pleasure. Yes. Well, it was uh, a lot. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You man. Thank you for inviting me, and thank you everybody for donating the money because uh, that's always a good cause. That's and good. we we have to do this probably for a children's hospital one day too. Yeah, listen, if you ever want to come back and do this again, we would love to have you on. Absolutely. Anytime. Well, we, we have a chance to talk, and then probably in the next year or something we we'll do something. Yeah. Absolutely great. Well, everybody, thank you guys so much for joining us. And remember, next month's Cartoonist Society Foundation will be Bill Morrison. So that's going to be a great one to do. And then uh, next week, we'll probably have another show. I, I don't know who it's going to be, but we do have one announcement. Ken, you didn't make that announcement yet. Do you want to make that announcement now? About uh, Yeah, tomorrow uh, we will be on a commission list with uh, Ariel Olivetti. So Ariel Olivetti, a wonderful artist in his own right. Is, is, we're going to open up a list. Uh, so that'll be open on 4C Facebook page tomorrow. So that's something that everybody who stuck around now, you know something that everybody who left already doesn't know. So there you go. So look out for that. And uh, thank you guys. And, and once again, please get vaccinated. Get your shots. Get your boosters. If you're over 50, get your second booster. Maybe sneak a third one in if you can. I want to see you guys. Sergio wants to see you when he's ready to go to shows. Ken and I Absolutely. love seeing you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, have a wonderful night. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.